welcome. Welcome back. Great to see everybody. Welcome, welcome. Okay. It's cold. Got the laundry going. The dogs are good. Nashies, you are on my list. Nashies, can you email me? I uh, went to sleep early last night after I went to the city to go to Nordstrom's and uh, Home Goods, and I stopped at Whole Foods, and I couldn't get back to sleep last night, and I, I, I was watching something, and I don't want to spoil it, but man, I had a beautiful idea of a little remix, so now she's hit me up. I didn't want to put the idea in your community tab, because... You know, I know we just promoted your channel the other day, and I didn't want somebody to steal the idea. So, uh, I thought of something funny. I'm doing all right, y'all. Welcome, Hillary. Welcome. Let's go from the bottom to the top. Now we're here. Chicklets, Mukbangs, PetSmart, Ruby, our little Sam Saro, Hillary, Zen, and Shannon, Spooky, Take a Breath, Ariana, Devils, SCL, Sheepy, Shane, Crystal, Charlotte, Kelly D, Nashies, Kelly uh, Donor, Gail Charlotte, Chantal S, Nancy, uh, Amber Nicole, Dax, K Marie, Cool Country, Fatima, Coda, Team Psyched, Kim B, Crystal. Irene Nesquik, welcome y'all. Yeah, Dex, I had to, I didn't want Batris to dry out, you know, since it's winter. And I was like, Batris, you, yo, I've been having to like shut the bathroom door and like not let her in there because it's just not feasible. Robert, welcome. Jill, welcome. Okie Doll, Star, Frosty, Ronnie D, Beaker, Fluffy. Ali, Sarah M, Little D, uh, Susie, Fort, Lynn Smith, Angie, Pet Smart, Little Itty Bitty, Blue, Nyquil, Tish, Reflect, Edna, Detective, Storm. Okay, y'all. I'm hoping I didn't miss anybody. I kind of went all around the place. Got Beaker. Thank you, Ronnie D. Um, speaking of, um, Patty, Jennifer, Tracy B, Terry G, Tish, um, I do got some packages. I got to get back up there. It's been a very busy couple days. Thank you, Ronnie. Thank you. And, um, so I uh, will get, they have to be open. They've got some of the, po like the packages stashed back, but they've got to be open. Some are welcome. Yeah, we just got our little candy corns one from last year. I was kind of like, what do I wear? And I thought, you know, we'll go with these. A little, I gotta, it really doesn't match. Thank you, Kelly. You don't have to do that. Guys, you don't have to send me stuff. Always take care of yourself. Always appreciated. I appreciate the things you send me. The dogs appreciate the things you send them. So let's get into our business and we will move right ahead and truck on to things. Thank you, Kelly. And I appreciate everything you guys do. Um... There's some shorts to this somewhere. I'm kind of going through a big organizational situation type deal. Sell, donate, etc. Re-welcome. And um, so I couldn't quite find the bottom. So I'm kind of really been going through stuff. Gloating, welcome. Y'all, it's a great time. It's Every time is great. But great time to donate. Great time to go through extra towels, extra blankets. Your girl's got a blanket fetish over here. Yo, I took that daggone blanket back and I got another one, but that's okay. My dogs love it. It's so soft and I will show it in an upcoming haul. Uh, you know what? I might put a pair of these in the giveaway. Um, I had a friend get me like a set of Chris, uh, Halloween earrings for Christmas one year and I noticed that I got an extra pair of candy corns. So if you see them in a giveaway, they're obviously not the ones that I wear. Iron, welcome. Sarah T, Welcome. So, yeah, so if you would get, no, guys, I don't give you anything that, you know, that I wear. Just a heads up. Thank you, uh, Star. So, yeah, so if you get a random pair, they're, they're not the ones that I wear. Heads up. Um, I got this at Walmart a couple years ago. I did see Amber. I kind of did a little skew. I got in last night, and I was absolutely pooped. Chris, welcome. Um... And I, yeah, 
I'm not, I, I, I kind of, man, how do I say this without sounding like a complete, you know what, I'm just going to say it. I think you guys know who I am at this time, and I think you guys got me figured out. Um, I think to put I might have cancer again is distasteful. Um, you know, that's, that's not something to might around. Thank you, gloating. Um, you know, that's something that you should get the test and then discuss it with your audience. You know, um, I've lost many people to cancer, including my uncle last summer. You guys know that. And, um, it's, it's, it's a, it's a wild, nasty disease. So, um... I don't, I don't know, Duncan. I'm just saying. I myself, Raccoon Man, welcome, love. Amanda, welcome. Um, I myself, if, if I had something serious going on with me, I don't think I would come on here and tell you guys I might. EP, welcome, love. Um, you know, th there's, there's a thing between saying, you know, guys, I got some health issues going on. Want to give you a heads up, but to tag it, I might have again. I, I, I think that's pretty foul. Um, let's let's be real. But again, these are just my opinions. You know, exactly, Iron. I've lost many people. Uh, my mother's grandfather... Excuse me, my mother's father died of cancer. My uncle last summer, you guys know. Not this past summer, but the sa summer before. Yes, Duncan. Kate, welcome. Um, you know, there's a difference, like I said, between, you know, hey, guys, I might have some health problems. I'm kind of going through some shit on the low. And then, you know, let, let's find out the test results, then come on. Um, I'm going to be honest, I, I think it's foul. I think it's a cash grab. Um, exactly, Nashies. And, and I'm not saying that people can't share. I want to make this clear. I know you guys know me. I'm not saying that people can't share, you know, what's going on in their life. But when you title something that serious... You know, it's, it's exactly re, and I agree. I, I, you couldn't have said it any better. LV, welcome. Let's, let's go with what re said. I agree. Um, it's a precaution thing. If she had cancer before the doctors are obviously going to rule it out or focus on that first because she had cancer previously doesn't mean she had it now. Absolutely. And thank you, Jaden. Um, Eden, welcome. Exactly, Beaker. And, um, Wookie, welcome. You know, it, it, it's that time of year. It's that time of year. The ads are going to start to run hard. Christmas is around the bend. And, and I want to make this clear. I'm not saying this is why she's doing this. I'm not making that clear. Welcome, Black Velvet. But let's let's get results for serious things before we come on here saying you know titles in my opinion yeah and, and I'm not saying that Jaden it just you know um and, and I agree with that you know you want to you know expect the best but you never know you know the worst thank you devils but um you know I I just I I personally would have made sure you know, Amber knows the audience she has. She's got quite a big audience. I would have just particularly said, hey, guys, I just want to let you know I've got health things going on. And again, I'm not saying Amber has. This is how I would have approached things. This is how I would have approached things. I would have said, guys, I may not be on. My, my attitude may be different. Uh, I'm feeling a little bit. You know, under the blue, I got some health problems going on. I'll keep you guys updated when I get further answers myself. But hey, you know, it is what it is. I'm not, you know, um, I, I'm not Amber. So, you know, what, what, what can I say? Uh, do I hope you know the best for her? Absolutely. I don't hate anybody on here. And I hope you guys, you guys and the replay, I hope you guys get what I'm saying. Because you know people will go absolutely left field with this. Fishing, welcome. Um, you know, Kowal Kaya said, okay. 
Money, welcome. So, if you see me chewing my coffee, um, I had some coffee left from Nordstrom's yesterday. Welcome, Nadine. And it was a pumpkin pecan latte, and I thought they were sprinkling these little bits of toffee on. And it was too late by the time I noticed. And it's got like these pecan fragrant, um, pecan pieces on top. So, that's if you see me chewing, that's what I'm doing over here, um. I really wish, I, I thought it was toffee, and I was like, cool, run it, but I get back to the car, and I'm like, so, if you see me looking like I'm chewing, I don't have chewy, well, I do have chewy coffee, it's it's pecan pieces, and then I mixed with it some of that, um, is it score, or the scar, excuse me, the cold brew, I just kind of freshened it up. Now, Ponderous, welcome. I did find something interesting, and when I pee in the kitchen, remind me. And I'll grab it. So, Grandma wanted to go get, and then I'll show you guys a uh, snack of the day. Grandma was all about some pastries, I told you guys. So, we went. Sorry, oh, I should have strained this coffee. It's absolutely, even in, like, shopping around, I was like. Um, Grandma was all about pastries. And I told you guys I was going to go live. Honey, it was like a feeding frenzy. I literally had to grab me and grandma's and move out the way. <laughs> People were like, so I didn't have a time to eat. Like, oh my gosh, y'all, this is ridiculous. I didn't even have time to make y'all a shorts club. I mean, it was literally like people were reaching over me and I was like, okay, let me, let me get out the way. Oh man. Well, Crystal, take that back to the store, love. Crystal says, I got me some of the Stoke Pumpkin Coffee, got home, and the sale was peeled back. I hope you took it back. Or, you know, a lot of times, guys, if there's not something in stock, look at the back of the bottle, and you can call the company or email them. Usually, companies are pretty good, and, you know, people could probably say, well, Kai is petty. You know what? We all work hard out here. We don't like to get things Y'all, I took back those espresso beans yesterday that when I went to show y'all, they spilled everywhere and the sill was broken. So don't feel bad. And even if it takes you a couple days, if you don't have your receipt, if they have like a rewards program like Meyer does Kroger, they can look it up. Or if you simply can't get back to the store, hit the company up. Sometimes I've had like meat literally that I've bought and open chicken and been like, holy bat dicks. And Kroger was sometimes like, you'll read them the skew and they'll ask you the price. And they'll put it on for next time when you type in your number. So don't feel bad, you guys. A lot of companies, they have, you know, loss prevention. They have money to cover that insurance to write things off. So you guys, you know, just don't, don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. It's not your fault. Pizza might... Pete's of my pizza, welcome. So, you know, like I said, they, a, a lot of companies make sure they have a little bit set back of loss prevention. If a case gets damaged, etc. You know, you, you're, you're, you're not millionaires. At least I don't think you guys are, some of you. But you, you're not going to, a company's not going to take a 5 or 6 $7 L because of you. You know what I mean? Pernella, welcome. Sheepy, welcome. Okay, so let's get to one thing. I'll show snack of the day. And I want to give a special shout out to Lunaris that I seen in the community tab, you guys. Lunaris is absolutely fantastic. Lunaris has been with me for a while. Great person, great supporter. And yeah, so let's give Lunaris a happy birthday in the chat. And Lunaris, I don't know if you're here, but happy birthday. Exactly, Ben, and I agree. Ben says, so true, Kaya, we should get what we paid for. Yeah, and guys, like I said, you're not going to put them out over, you know, five, seven dollars. You know, they have that. Ivana, welcome. You know, they, they have fun set back for, you know, if something gets a hole poked in it or that that's part of being a business owner. You know, you're going to take an L sometimes. But we as the consumer, we as the customers, you know, have the right. Dixie, welcome. You know, happy welcome. You know, we as the consumers, you know, a lot of the same brands, I buy the same stuff. Um, I don't know if you guys remember even Sam and Yaba. Patty, thank you. They talked about when the Jif peanut butter recall went down. 
And, you know, Jeff said, take it into the store. I don't care if you bought it a month ago. I don't care if you bought a week ago. If you have one that's part of the recall, you guys, I was kind of like, I bought this probably two, three weeks. And then my buddy had said, hey, Kaya, I know you like Jeff peanut butter. Joanne, welcome. And uh, sure enough, I had all the ones that I had stocked up for my family were the ones that were recalled. And I kind of was like, oh my gosh, you guys, it's been two, three weeks. Guys, I got there and there was tons. There was like a wall of peanut butter that people had brought in. And Sam and uh, Yaba had even mentioned that they had got one. Colleen, welcome. So yeah, don't, don't feel bad. You know, they have insurance policies for things like that. Mama, welcome. Okay, so Shadow, I checked. I think I got your account unblocked. Guys, um, my, 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 our block list is uh, growing. <laughs> not not with you guys, with just a lot of static. So I was like, wow, we've got quite a list going, but it's a lot of racial, terrible things. A lot of, um, so let's know, show snack of the day. And I wanted to get, we got Lunaris, I unblocked Shadow, um, And, uh, yeah, I'll show you guys what I got. I'm not going to take a bite right now. I want to get into it. So, coffee, again, I had about that much left in my Nordstrom's cup. I got home, threw it in the fridge, and then I just freshened it up. So, on top, I went to, um, exactly. And Chris says, I worked in food production. Always take a recall seriously and get your refund. Jim's welcome. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, I went to Whole Foods to get the pastries, and there was pumpkin whipped cream. You know, the can of whipped cream, I was like, my family looks across at me, and they's like, it's like, I already got it in the cart. I already got it in the cart. Shadow, get some rest, love, if you need to. Or, excuse me, Shady, get some rest of, um... Um, it's Whole Foods brand. I'll have to grab it when I pee in the kitchen. Thank you, Pizza My Pizza. Well, you know what, guys? I've got a little bit of Christmas stuff, but I'll be honest. I don't have as much of Halloween. So don't, don't get too... I mean, I've got a couple things, but, um... Halloween pajamas are expensive when they first come out. And I got these at Walmart last year, y'all. I was disappointed in Walmart's selection. I don't know if I missed the train or what. But, um, so I took this, um, you guys, I'm telling you, that vanity makeup palette, it, it's expensive. I don't know if you get it on a sale, but it's a no-brainer. It's, it's a, um, it's, it's a no-brainer. Y'all, it's so weird, I'm like. <laughs> okay, y'all, this is a beautiful boy. If you have a Whole Foods around, yes, the whipped cream is delectable, and I'll grab it when I pee in the kitchen to show you. Yes, uh, Vanity Makeup is the brand. And one of you guys caught it on sale. I got it when it first comes out. Um, see, sometimes you can get, like, signing up for their website, a discount, but you guys, it's a sturdy palette. It's, it's, it, it's effort. It's effort effortlessly ours is closed or would you go buy it what do you mean Kel um, it's good but I wouldn't go track the whipped cream down on a secret mission like I, I wouldn't I mean I had to go to the city already <laughs> right Mystique Whole Foods whole paycheck your girl is very selective when it comes to Whole Foods your girl is a Trader Joe's girl. Yeah, Whole Foods is, uh, you you got to kind of dig around. Now, what I didn't know is, um, that's all right. If she does Amber Nicole, I checked around and there's some things lurking. So, this is a pumpkin, uncut gems, welcome love, house cat, welcome. Uh, it got smashed in the box. This is a pumpkin chai cupcake. And before it got smashed, it was absolutely stunning. Look at that, y'all. She is a soft girl. Let me tell you a little secret, and I'm sure most of y'all know this. Reach from the back. 
Reach from the back when it comes to the pastries. Reach from the back. So she is just a little bundle of love. Um, I've never had this one. Yes, Robert, me too. She is a soft girl. Nancy, maybe check around. See, I don't have a Whole Foods in my city or a Trader Joe's either. Yes, watermelon, me too. Uh, the vanity makeup is expensive, but if you can catch it, she does run a sale sometimes. Oh, hell yo. Um, you guys, I noticed... Oh, I didn't know that Trader Joe's has the pumpkin spice whipped cream little itty bitty. I didn't see that one. Um, yeah. Yeah, she'd be leapy. And sometimes I'll, you know, if it's a jam or a jelly that's something been in my fridge, you know, I'll, you know, I, I don't play when it comes to meat and things like that. Yeah, so this is from Whole Foods. It was in, like, the pick-your-own-pastries. Soup flute, welcome. Um, Grandma got a... She got the little, tiny... They have smaller cupcakes, but they didn't have a small one of this. But I'm... Um, she got a small carrot cake cupcake and a small key lime tort. I was like, that's what you want? She's like, that's what... I was like, run it. All right, bud. Yeah, it's massive, but it's fluffy. It's massive, but it's fluffy. I did get a body scrub wash, and I'll show you. Uh, Vanity Makeup Irish, I had to get it off their site. I haven't seen... I don't know if Beautylish or anybody... Um, yeah, that's about little D Mina is in a big city. Yeah, um, Vanity Makeup, maybe, I don't know if it's on, but it's in her VanityMakeup.com non-sponsored. Nice, Amber, our a Old Navy is 50% off down, including Halloween PJs. Okay, well, I'm going to tell you a secret that I do. If you really don't need something right now, wait until the holidays. Wait until the holidays. Kaya, check out Knock Knock. It's Karma's video. Okay. Well, thank you, Nancy. Should we look at it now? Or, um... Should we look at it now? Knock Knock. It's Karma. I love them. Y'all know that. I really do. I gotta catch up on everybody's videos, man. I'm behind y'all. Okay, knock. Is it the last video, uh, Nance? Oh, shit. The last... Okay, wait a minute. I just found something else that looks interesting. What's the name of your palette you're talking about? It looks very nice on you. Um, It's her first palette ever. It's tan. Kimono, welcome. Um, God, y'all, I can't think of... It's her first palette ever. It's a big tan one. If you want, I'll grab it when we take a pee break. It's the first palette ever on there. It's a big tan one. Um, I don't remember how much it was. No, no, this is the eyeshadow palette. Her first ever eyeshadow palette. Um, yeah, it's her first. Kelly, I don't remember. I got that palette so long ago. Use vanity makeup. Okay, Kelly got 25 bucks off, y'all. So see what you can, um, see what you can maneuver. Um, it's effortlessly. It is expensive, but it's, I've been digging in this palette and you can barely see. Okay, Mystique, I wanted to say that right to you. Amazon Prime used to offer free delivery for Whole Foods if you spent $35. 
Okay, the signature palette. That's what it is. Okay, Kelly said she got... Kelly, was that 25% off? Allie, I don't usually pay that much, but this one is uh, effortlessly... Um, thank you, Aunt Janet. Um, I got Amazon, and somehow I got, like, a couple bucks off at Whole Foods. Yeah, this one's a banger. This one is... I don't care if you're a beginning, and I know we'll move on out of y'all. I don't care if you're a beginner at makeup... It's flawless. Sorry, y'all. Sorry, y'all. Um, it's, it's effortlessly. It, it's, 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 it blends. It's, it's an everyday palette. It's not some off-the-wall colors you're going to use. And this is non-sponsored. Wait a minute. What is this? Hold on. Saren, welcome. Okay, time out. Y'all, that video is 47 minutes long, y'all. Um, I don't know, y'all. Maybe we'll come back to it if we have time. But I just noticed something. Yeah, Nance, this is 47 minutes. And I kind of want to, if she deletes this live, I kind of want to get us caught up. But check this out. What's this all about? Wait a minute. What's this? Well, look, if you guys don't need it now. I know, Ali, I know they're totally overpriced, but this this is a banger. I, I would say it's my top palette, and I got quite a... No, no, we're not doing the Halloween store. We're doing tonight. Um, Saren, thank you, love. If you guys don't need it now, like I said, dig around for codes. Wait till it goes on sale for Christmas. Um, thank you, Irish. No, no, you're good, Irish. I don't think that's creepy. Um, what's this, though? S Psycho Stalker Foodie Beauty. Oh, we've seen this. We've seen this a while back. Well, shit, let's watch it anyways. Doxes all of her sock accounts. Twitter nugget, take note, these are all foodie beauty. Oh god, y'all, I can't. Did you see me? I was like, I always think that thing is a real candle. Let's check this out right quick. One, two, three. Y'all, she's got, look, five accounts. Chantal Marie, Chantal Ciro, Chantal Marie Olive, Marie Chantal, Chantal Sarasol. Look at this, y'all. Holy bat shit. Yeah, Nance, maybe we'll hit that video on a day we got nothing brewing. But, uh, check this out, y'all. So, this, I do recall this. Y'all, check out Knock Knock, It's Karma. This is when she showed her phone and it showed all of her accounts. She's on. Look, one, two, three, four, five. Yo, what in the Sam hockey sticks? That's what I'm telling you. If the palette. Look for codes. Sometimes you get codes and, and wait till Christmas, man. A lot of people run Christmas sales. If you don't have to have it now, y'all, Christmas is two months away. Or put away five bucks here, or ten bucks here, and before you know it, you'll have it. Tendies, what it is is they're showing. It's hard for y'all to reach because they're kind of, it's fuzzy for me too. It's one day when Chantal was like something, something. And everybody grabbed a shot, and it was showing she had five, um, five accounts. So, it's one of Knock Knock, it's Karma's. Yeah. It says, Socko, Socko, uh, one, two, three, four, 
Why does anybody need five accounts, yo? I can't keep up with my YouTube channel. All right, y'all. Let's go back to tonight. Uh, Nancy, I do appreciate... Um, I don't know. I think it was... I think they said Twitter, but I'm not for sure, attendees. I just changed it. Yo, check out Knock Knock It's Karma. They put out some bangers anyways. Um... Shit, yo, I had a... Okay, it's still lined up. Okay, here we go. I had Anymore. it. Uh, okay, y'all. I'm. A, we're hitting in at... 10... We'll come in at... Uh, 9 something. I skipped the high, high, high... High, so-and-so, high... I skipped all that shit. We're hitting in at 10, 11. We're gonna hit it at 1.25... And, um, yeah, welcome, Wesh. And like I said, y'all, don't, Christmas is around the bend. Unless there's something you need anything right away, you know that's when the sales are going to drop. You know that's when things are, you know, w with anything. Same with them Halloween PJs. Them things will be cheap as shit after Halloween. The day after Halloween, y'all, is the day to jump on stuff. If there's something you, um... I get it, Sheepy. I get it. Y'all got to think, though. I mean, this is... I, I like to come on here and look presentable for y'all. And, um, did I miss... Sorry, y'all. I'm talking my little fat toe off. I didn't mean for us to watch it now, but it's good now. Thank you, Aunt Nance. And I do want to catch up on their channel. Um, Chalmaine, welcome. Here's the thing, though, y'all. If, if you want a... And this is non-sponsored. I'm being 100. And I do... I, I When I made the review, I said, y'all, this is an expensive palette. But if, if, if you want something, it's effortlessly... It blends effortlessly. It's not chalky. An everyday staple. If you don't have a bunch of makeup, it's worth than buying a bunch of cheapies put together. It, it is. I, and like I said, I'm not getting paid a dollar to tell you this. I'm not sponsored by this company. Um, Lindsay, it is the... What was it called, y'all? The Signature... Do you want me to grab it while I get this started? I think it's called the Signature Palette by Vanity Makeup. Okay, thank you, Frosty. Vanity Makeup, it's their Signature Palette. It's tan and it's got gold around it. DG, Welcome. It's, I'm telling you, it's better than spending 20 here, 15 here. It's effortlessly, it's got mattes, it's got shimmers, it's got nudes, and, and I'm not making a dime. I'm just telling you, if if I had to go back to do it again, I would do it again. Now, I didn't get a code because it wasn't on sale. I got it on the release. But like I said, sign up for their emails and then listen. Anything like that, if they start to bother you, these companies, push unsubscribe. But get that code and then you can always unsubscribe. Thank you, DG. Okay, y'all, let's do it. Let's do it to it. Yeah, anything that I show y'all, like if there's like the Crocs giveaway. Jamie, welcome. Uh, I have the heater on for the dogs. Kitty, welcome. Anything I show y'all, giveaways like that or free samples, you can always unsubscribe. You know, if there's like a contest or a freebie we find, unsubscribe. But I still need some black eyeliner. Detective. I I just kind of use whatever I got on hand. I don't spend a lot of dough when it comes to eyeliners. Eyeliners. Neon, welcome, love. Oh, my God. Oh, Neon, my heart is with you. My heart is with you. Yes, the heater noise is back, y'all. We are winner. All right, let me shut my fat trap and let's do this. Sorry, y'all. I just want to make sure y'all get the best savings. You know, some things I know I find are expensive, but I like to, you know, make sure. All right, here we go, y'all. Welcome, Nadia, to... Okay, this is tonight. It's called Let's Bees. Now, we're going to bop around through this, so get ready. Moni, welcome, love. And this is on 1.25. Um, okay, Joni, hello. I said hi to coffee first. No fluffy, you're not blocked, but I'm not tolerating any bullshit anymore. 
Um, Tiffany, movie gal. There is no profile, so that's the thing. Lies, Photoshop. Like all anyone has to do is go check on Tinder. Okay, let's let's. This was on my little list. I don't have much of a list tonight because I got in late and I was doing some laundry. And these are just our opinions. These are my opinions and my chats. Who think this community? Uh, Susie, I'd rather not get into that right now. I, I like to keep, you know, if somebody doesn't want to be around, you know, or that's not for me to. I, I don't want to. If somebody sees things different than I do, then we grow apart, that's, it is what it is, net detective, and I'm not saying that person won't be around again, you know, I just, I just don't want to leave it at that, if, if somebody decides to not come around, um, good night, Tosh, it, it, you know, it, it's, it's, I'm not mad at her, I, I want to put that out there, you know, um, sometimes you just don't see eye to eye on things. Um, so, you know, it's, I, I may, and maybe they'll come around again. Maybe they just need time just to stay away and that's fine. Casey, welcome. Breakfast, welcome. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not mad at that person. Wonderlust, welcome. Um, you know, it, it is just what it is. Kelly, I, I don't even want to, it's, it's not. Yes, we're going to discuss that too. Um, DG. All right, let's move on. That's something that I don't, I'm, I'm not mad at them. Um, let's just, you know, people come and go, y'all. If they don't see things the eye to eye, you know, it is what it is. Okay, let's discuss that. That is what I wanted to discuss. Welcome, Laura. We are very big on receipts. We are very big on receipts in this co uh, this company, this community. Do you guys think that all that tender stuff was photoshopped? What is you guys' opinion? I honestly, I do not think we're very big on receipts. Um, some of these people that were dropping the receipts were sending them to other channels. They didn't even have channels. Um, I know I try to not give you guys false information. Yeah, Ariane, I'm like, we're a very big company over here. I'm like, what the hell am I talking about? Um, I think so too, Frosty. I think so too, Chris. I think so too, you guys. Um, I don't, I, I don't have time to set in, I don't know how to Photoshop things first off. Um, and exactly, Jamie, she... She got on her community tab, basically, and then she talks about tonight, she verified that was him. Thank you, Jamie C. Um, what is Seinfeld here at, uh, what was it, Vandalin Incorporated? I thought of y'all yesterday, my grandma wanted to go to the Cracker Barrel. Who would have thought? The only place she likes to eat. They had a... What is it? John Vandalay? Um, they had a shirt I took a picture of for our community tab when we do our Festivus. Masha, welcome. Um, anyways, let me rein it in. I'm going left. Thumbs up, y'all. Make sure you're subscribed. Yes, Vandalay Industries. Say Vandalay Industries when they call. If you guys haven't seen the Seinfeld episode where George is... I think he was trying to get a job or something. But, uh, yes, thank you. Vandalay Industries. Say Vandalay Industries. But, um, anyways, we're, we're very big into receipts in this community. There's been times that I've had to come back and say, hey, you know, you guys have said, hey, Kaya. Um, what is Shannon's channel, y'all? Sarah, welcome. What is it, just Shannon? Is that what it is, Georgia? Welcome, love. Um... Okay, just Shannon. Thank you, guys. And we're going to get to that. Um, I really like Shannon. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I like her. I think she kind of seems like me. She doesn't give. Uh, it used to be Sh Salty Shannon. And then I think it's just Shannon now. 
I'm going to slow down, Amber. But um, I don't think the stuff was screenshotted. I don't think it was fake. Um, I think that was Buddy. And Lizzie, that, that's your opinion if you think so. But I like Shannon. And for Foodie to say that she needs to go back and spend more time in a mental institution. Um, I think that's disgusting. Amanda, welcome. Um, I don't care how much beef I've had with somebody. You know, um. Oh, see now she see I don't I don't catch every move, y'all. I don't know about that. See, I don't I don't catch every move, y'all. Yeah, see now she's just talking about something that I don't know about. So I, I don't y'all gotta think, man. I worry about us over here trying to keep up on things. Um so I, I, I don't catch every move. And a lot of y'all are on Twitter. Huh, Frosty. Okay, well see I d I didn't know none of that. See, that's where y'all come in. Um Anyways, long story short, no matter what's going on, for Foodie to say that, um, Potato Shannon is Foodie's ex-buddy from high school. Remember Shannon that she was fighting with all, was it last summer, y'all? Not this past one, but the past one before. Um, okay, Lizzie, see, I, I don't know none of that, y'all. You guys gotta think, I'm not on Twitter, I don't catch every video smoking. Okay, well, anyways, let's rein it back in, because I did have that on the list, but one thing at a time. So, I don't think the stuff was screenshotted. I do not think that this guy, I, I think that the tender was still open. Uh, it's just Shannon Potato. Just Shannon, love. Um, Jamie, I, and I'm not agreeing with everything that Shannon did, but I do think that Shannon was, you know, not to bring up, you know, not last summer, but the summer before, but, um, I could see that, Amanda, but, um, oh, piss pants. Yes, Georgia, we know life by Jenna's past. I think Georgia needs a timeout, and Georgia, I'll give you a break, and if you need, uh, to take another break, that'll be your last break. Um, anyways, long story short, let's move on. Welcome, Five. Um, let's rein it in one thing at a time, and, uh, I don't think that shit was, it, 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 it had where Buddy went to school, it had, I think Foodie is, let's, let's keep it funky. She keeps saying, you guys don't know this guy, you guys don't know this guy. Well, either did you, and either do you, either do you, <laughs> until you genuinely meet somebody I could tell you guys I own the Brooklyn Bridge, but at the end of the day, y'all, y'all know I don't know I, I don't own the Brooklyn Bridge. So, you know, until you really meet this dude, yeah, it's I feel you guys' vibes on here just by the things you say. I'm sure you feel my vibes on here as well. You know, we have a pretty good understanding. Some of y'all have emailed me, etc. You guys watch me, but um And, I, and I've said this, I'm the same person in is YouTube as outside in the world. But some people aren't. Some people aren't. Some people aren't. Um, let's get into this, because there were some things dropped tonight. She slips up, and she says that, well, I could stop, he doesn't want. And she stops. What I think she was going to say is, he doesn't want me to live stream. And again, these are only my opinions. This is my chat's opinion. These are not facts. She said he doesn't. And she said, I could stop tomorrow and he would help pay my bills. She keeps saying you don't know our situation. Like, what is that supposed to mean? And see, Amber and Nicole, I agree with you. And that's part of kind of where we're at with this. Um, yeah, what what do you mean situation? You guys know I say that. You know, we're going to watch this situation type deal, guys. Look at this situation type deal. Yes, we're referring to Sala. Um, thank you, Amber and Nicole. What, what situation? Like Amber and Nicole just said. If you, if you are dating somebody, it's not a situation. 
If you love somebody, it's not a situation. If you respect somebody, I respect you guys. I hope you guys respect me. That's not a situation type deal. We respect each other. Um, Danish, welcome. Sassy, welcome. Um, but like I said, we're going to get to it. But she almost said he wants me to... And they was talking about love, uh, love streaming. Do I think that anybody that I met right now in a different country, if I quit everything I had popping off, ain't nobody paying your bills. You might find a sugar mama, you might find a sugar daddy, but at the end of the day, is somebody going to Frankie welcome? At the end of the day, do I trust any... Hey guys, my rent's due. Hey guys, my electric's due. Dude, you're taking care of Pete's. Let's keep it funky. Claire, welcome. Christy, welcome. Peppum, welcome. You're, you're taking care of Pete's. But do I think that this dude would take care of your bills 100% and take care of you? I don't think that... I'm going to keep it funky. Hell, I don't have enough money to feed you. Let's be real. Y'all know I love snacks and treats, but... Lunaris, happy birthday. We did you a happy birthday. There's Lunaris, yo. Masha, I have no idea, love. I have no idea, love. Um, all right, let's move on. And this, she, she's like, people are spreading rumors and it's stupid. And then she says, I don't speak douche. Chantal, some of your, she tells Shannon to go eat a, Shannon, to go eat a steaming pile of poo. Foodie, your comebacks are... I'm not saying I'm the best rooster comebacks, but uh, they're pretty lame, to be honest with you. Hey, we're the cool. You about made me spit out my pecan coffee. <laughs> Amber, I seen the word food bun. I was like, I wish... Amber Nicole says, no man is paying for bills unless he gets some FUPA in return. She can't do that from Canada. And I agree. Diane, welcome, love. Um, let's keep it. I I'm going to keep it real. I'm going to keep it real. And we'll get right back to it. I know I keep saying that, but there's so much on my mind tonight. Um, if that's dude's real Twitter page. Dude's got on, like, suits and shit. He's in, like, nice whips. Chantal is messy as shit. Let's be, let's, let's be honest. Chantal doesn't care. You know, I got dogs, y'all know that. But, you know, she doesn't lint roll her stuff. You know, she, she's not. He, she she's not well put together. I'm I'm not saying that to be mean, but when you look at Chantal, it's not, you know, watch, wallet, testicles, breasticles, you know, earrings, everything. She's just not Dapper Dan. She's not. And I'm not saying that to be mean. Jocelyn's mom, welcome. Um, I'm not Dapper Dan either. Now do I take respect, you know, in my appearance? I try to, but I'm not Dapper Dan every day. But if you look at dude, like you guys said, he's got, you know, his, his goatee is well manicured. Um, you know, he's got on a suit. Welcome. Uh, his vehicle looked clean. Now, it could be a rental. Who knows? But, um, you know, the vehicles that he was in was clean, and he just looked put together. I'm going to be honest. Um, now, I get it. You know, people aren't put together every day. I'm just saying, you know... He looks put together. I looked on the thing and it says, you know, swimming. They just don't have a lot of the same hobbies. Chantal was in Cuba and she can say that shit all she wants. I went to the beach without you guys. I went to the beach without you guys. I don't believe that. She took everybody around in Cuba every minute. She was scared, in my opinion, to be by herself. Y'all, you would not have been able to pry us off that beach. 
I would have put my Jackery in my luggage and we would have had y'all plugged up to that Jackery power pack or a portable charger and y'all would have had to pry my ass off the beach. I don't believe she went to the beach without us. Exactly, Potato. And that's another thing. I mean, I've been doing research, you know, and looking around. Um, it and Cuba even looks like... And again, I know it's, you know, separate countries, but... Um, I just got the opinion. Um, exactly, DG. Exactly. Um... I just got the, 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 and, and then I'm just speaking for me. I just got the, the vibe that she was nervous to walk around by herself. Remember the one night, everybody's like, go to the snack bar. Go to the snack bar. And she's like, no, it's dark out. I don't know. But yet you're, 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 you're inviting a stranger to your room. You know, shit doesn't add up, but I just felt like she was nervous, and um, you know, you, you even see it in the store. She'll take us around candy. Welcome. Um, you know, um, she'll take us around the stores, you know, even though we don't see shit, and you know, it's like, whoosh, whoosh. but she, she, I feel like she, she's afraid to be by herself in public. Welcome, Unicorn. Movie gal, I'm not too late for the party. What's up? Hello. Exactly. So, yeah, exactly, I'm, Tish. I'm very happy. Other than morons trying to like ruin every single thing, I'm good. <laughs> Plain cheeseburger. Hi, ice cream. Cooper Princess. Hello. Yes. Thanks for posting, Sam. Talk about where you've been. Just away, busy, dealing with things. I'm moving in no time flat. But I haven't, like, the move hasn't been what's most time-consuming in my life right now, actually. There's other personal things. Just, I'm just working on a lot of personal things. And so, yeah. Um, I decided that I wanted to stop doing live streams for a while. Hi, Corpse. Um, because I, <laughs> Colleen, yeah, I'm going to mansion party bees. I'm going to do, I want to do some live streams, but I'm not tolerating any hate or BS anymore at all. And, um, so I'll probably just talk with, like, my real beezers, you know, here and there. Um, I'm going to be entering into a new arc after I move. So I'm going to be doing a lot of content with that. Um, uh, <laughs> so that's the major changes. Like, it's not going to be basically just, if you look at, hi, Cotton Candy, what my content was like before. Just, like, streaming for hours and hours and hours. There's not going to be that every on a daily basis, and I'm not going to be, you know, just doing edibles and just eating. So I'm actually planning a new arc of content. <laughs> it's going to be a surprise. Oh, hey, Nandi. Uh, so I hate for the mansion. What? Yeah, it's so. Uh, um. What was I going to say? Ugh. Hopefully the new mansion will give you the want to mod the Holy Trinity for protection. <laughs> Think about it like a physical place of work. Would any store allow people to verbally abuse, abuse an employee? No, you deserve to block harassers. Well, yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, like, too bad. But new arc, new arc. Yeah. Change is definitely good. Thank you, thank you. So, I want to ask you guys another question that's been on my mind as well. Erie, welcome. Y'all check out Erie Pepperoni. Fantastic. I love... Well, I don't love it. Let's keep it funky. Jimbo, welcome. So, you're talking about how... I don't even know if I can show my bedroom. We've seen this place before. Happy. Thank you, love. You too. I'm happy to see you guys too. I know it was a little late, but... Excuse me, I figured better late than never. Um, we've seen this place before. And Allie, that's what... Okay, the Ark is... God, dog, she's still in everything. Like, you guys know I say situation all the time. Of course, I got it from Amber. It's a running joke in our community. She's like, yeah, I see some people say situation on the internet. 
dude, did you hear me a couple weeks ago? I was like, Chantal, sit down and have several seats. She says, that tonight. Um, it, it, this arc shit. It's like she takes on, you know, um, she takes on all these things that, you know, the reaction channels come up with. Um, but let's be real here. Um, this place better be a mansion. And I'm being serious. You know, you keep, you keep, man, exactly, Potato. And that's like the person that's reacting to me right now. I ain't watching that shit. If they think I'm some kind of gangster hypocrite, fantastic. You know what's interesting to me is... When people have all these things to say about you, but they want to show their face. I'm this and cinema welcome. I'm this, Mandy, welcome love. I'm this and I'm that and I'm this and I'm that. Show yourself. You have so much to say about me. Show yourself. Let, let's keep it funky. I'm not saying you always got to show yourself, but show yourself. Everything I got sucks and it's all trinkets. Let's see your spot. Let's see your spot. Let's see what you look like. You got such a high opinion about me. Run it. And. Sorry, um, my lips were getting, you know. People hide, and I get it, you know, but if you have so much to say, then show yourself. Exactly, Zen. And then they're assuming the person they knew who I was talking about. No, but FFG has showed herself. This cherry girl is riding my ass and uh, has so much to say about me, but is hiding. Yeah, and, and it's, it is, you know, no, I know, Ree, but she has so much to say about me, and, you know, I'm this and that, and a gangster, and da 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 and my trinkets, and I show a bunch of junk, and I just think it's interesting that this person has such a high, you know, I think so, I think so, Kelly. Yeah, I'm not saying that anybody has to, you know... I'm just saying, let, let's let see your trinkets. Exactly, Jaden. I love stuff. Uh, DG Cherry is a channel that's like made their, they react to me pretty much. I show my junk and my trinkets and anyway, so long story short, this place better be a banger. Yeah, and I'm not saying that everybody has to get on video to have an opinion. I'm not I'm not saying that. I just think if you comment on certain shit, then you know, show your domain. If if I live in a tiny shed and a tight show show their domain. No, no, potato. I'm just saying in general though. You know, if I show my junk and I don't know. They they think I'm a hypocrite, Erie, and I'm I'm, I'm, I can't take criticism and I'm a hypocrite. Um, exactly. So, I'm going to tell you now, again, it's so weird. I feel like that we've seen this place. Again, she's like, well, I wonder if I can even show the bedroom. Why wouldn't you be able to show the place? So then tonight, everybody's like, are you going to show the villa when it's done? She's like, no, 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 I'm not. Why? Why not show the villa if you're going to leave it intact? Oh, no, Janet, they're definitely not. They have quite an accent. I don't think Chantal could pull that off. Thank you, Duncan. And I'm, I'm not, you know, <laughs> right, sassy cat? And I'm not... I, I never said, you know, you, I read the comments and I was like, I'm not looking at this no more. They're like, oh, Shanto or uh, Kaya, what do you guys get? Another reaction channel that can't take criticism. 
I never said I couldn't take criticism. I don't know, Sarah. And how I never said I'm above being react to. I never said I'm above. I tell you all the time. If there's something I can, yeah, Zen seen it. If there's something I can do better. If there's something you guys tell me, tell me. I'm not above criticism. I never said I'm perfect. I never said. All right, thumbs up, y'all. Let's get to it. Um, you know, I don't think I'm perfect. I, I'm not above criticism. Um, I never said that. You guys always tell me, you know, hey, let's change this. Let's do this, you know. No, it's not a TV show. <laughs> I mean, like, it would have to be a Canadian TV show. And other than saying that I was going to try out for Canada's Got Talent, like, which I haven't even done yet. I said it was, I start and then I don't ever finish the process. So I start, like, midway and then, uh. Maybe I should go on there and sing pathetic. I'm kidding. I need to make new songs. Sick beats. I want to be. I want to write some songs and go on there. <laughs> Even if they laugh at me, I'd be honored to be laughed at, like by so many people. That would be so cool. <laughs> So we can't make any troll comments at all. So this I noticed. So here we go again. Any attention. I would be honored if they laughed at me. Yes, Nancy. I seen that. Water hose, welcome. Um, there's like, we'll be back. We're going to go to Shannon's. Foodie, you're... Oh, yeah, I seen that. I seen it, area. I was listening to some I was getting situated. Yeah, sick beats gamer. So she doesn't understand that beats and singing are two completely different realms. Second off, little Betty, I was going to get to that. She's very caught mouthy. She takes a drink of the cup. I'm hoping we'll find this part. She takes a drink of a cup, a regular ass cup, and says, I just drank BBJ's water. Why is your cat drinking out of a cup? And why is it on your desk where it could spill over and electrocute everything? You welcome. You. I seen uh I see you guys talking about it. these are pajamas I got at Walmart. You. I did not know that you watched Cornelius Van Gogh. I seen you in Cornelius's comments, but I didn't want to you know talk about, you know, my channel and somebody else's, but I bet shit when I seen you, you guys check out Cornelius Van Gogh. She's, uh, from Slab City and she jumps the trains. Um, Yeah. Yeah, you, I seen, I was like, holy shit, I, I wanted to say something, but I was like, I didn't want to, you know, Cor Cornelius likes to keep her channel, you know, but, um, anyway, so, Trailer Park, welcome, why are you drinking the cat's water, why do you have a top on a, um, it is, Jaden, but, I, I, I mean, I want to keep it funky, um, Cornelius is awesome, I've been, I've been watching them forever, thank you, Sarah. Yeah, Cornelius is the real deal. Uh, they don't play around. So, why are you drinking cat water? Why is the cat's water in a cup instead of on the floor? Why would you have it on the desk? Anything with that atop. You guys, look. Everything is on a top on here. You have your computer tower on your desk. And all those cords string behind that we've seen. Yes, and she doesn't... Uh, corns pronouns are they and them. Just a heads up, y'all. Corn goes by they and them. Cornelius, she does. Or excuse me, they do. Sorry, I'm still getting used to that stuff too. Corn goes by they and them. Exactly, Sarah. That's another thing. Fruit flies. Um... Right, old Mandy will be here. Um, yes, corn's pronouns are they and them. So, why would you not have a fresh bowl of water? So, you drank the water that was for the cat, which was on your desk, which, don't even get me started with that. 
Oh my gosh, Siriana, that's wild. I just, I don't understand why she wouldn't have a fresh bowl of water down on the ground. I mean, it would take nothing. You guys know the dog. It would take nothing for them to knock this over with no lid. And, um, yeah, no, corn isn't in the chat. But I just, she's, uh, they are very, they are very strict with their pronouns. So I want to be, if y'all go over there, corn is they and them or just corn. It's Cornelius Van Gogh. She tra or they travel. See, I'm an ass too. I corn. They travel. They run trains. They have the library and the slabs. So it's just it, it, it's a breath of fresh air from this. Um, she's doing a case where somebody got unalived in Slab City. But um. Anyways, here we go. You control, but... It's just something different from this. If y'all... Alicia, welcome. If y'all are looking for something different... Uh, trailer Park just hitching trains and stuff. Slabs is in California. If y'all don't know what it is, look around. There's tons of documentaries about Slab City. Depending on what. Um, things that you know I won't find funny, though. I spent the day at the Kennedy Space Center. <laughs> really? How was that? Big brother, no. Hi, Terry's orange, uh, chocolate orange. How are you? Van Feaser. Can we still order food? Sometimes. Have you been feeling better since you've been streaming less? Yes. It's a rabbit hole, Kelly. It's If y'all want something different, look up Slab City. And there's tons of documentaries. And when you see uh, corn is... Uh, Tracy, I'd love to visit it. I would love to... Um, Nice. Nice. Have you been there, Trailer Park? Yeah, it's Cornelius Van Gogh. I think Ponderous put the channel up, but, uh, yeah, Corn is, uh, she's the, or they're the real deal, man. Honestly, yes. <laughs> Absolutely. I'd love to go, Tracy. It's on my bucket list. Nice, Trailer Park. Yeah, it's on my bucket list, y'all. And, uh, yeah, it's on my bucket list. Okay. Um, who's going on? I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. <laughs> what? Have you seen Mosley? I don't know. I don't even know who that is. So it looks like keyboard are you saying? <laughs> like Y'all, I'm going to go pee right quick. I didn't drink most of this coffee. I'm like, uh-oh. I had to break the cell. I'll be right back, y'all. Do I have lipstick on them? No. Yo, I don't work this lipstick. coffee. Please, I don't think I'm going to keep. Um, <laughs> what was I going to say? I don't remember. I'm like scatterbrained. I feel like I don't even know what to talk about. <laughs> um, so, yes. What else was I going to say? I don't know. Yeah, like... At least if you have somebody who plays the keyboard, they can, like, um, get you to, like, hit the right notes, you know? Like, they'll hit a note, and then you can hit that note or whatever. <laughs> hijab user. <laughs> I'd rather not be identified based on the fact that I wear a hijab. Hi, Tara. You've missed every live lately. I haven't even been going live. <laughs> I guess you've missed every live because there hasn't been any very many, Colleen. I think I did, like, when was the last one? Was it Was it last night? I think so. I don't know. Maybe I'll do, like, we'll see. Whenever I feel like it. Like, I just need to be able to just go live and talk to you guys whenever I feel like it. You know? Like, that's important to me. First ratchet. Harmonize. Yeah. Okay, Queen. <clears throat> White Knight, go get your friggin' racism checked. You're an idiot. I want to keep going live. Something is stopping me. No, I've been stopping myself. I, and honestly, like, just distancing myself a lot has been really helping, you know? So. Um, I'm going to work all weekend and miss them all, too. Can you oh, <laughs> I haven't really been doing much. I don't feel com compared to, you know? Can you turn comments on for members and posts? 
Um, how can I do that? Oh, like you mean on the community tab? I don't know if I can. Like, I just disabled all the comments. So I don't know how to just enable it for just the community post. I don't think you can. I think you have to like either enable all comments. I'm not too sure. <laughs> And honestly, I'm like happy if I never turn my comments on again. I don't even care if I like lose subscribers. <laughs> I'm just gonna do whatever makes me feel comfortable and if people will just react however they react. Like, I'm just gonna live my life. You have a right to be offended by it, whatever. If you stick around, it's your problem, not mine. Oh, wow, Tara, holy. Yeah, Flop Era has seen the Amaranth situation. Rub K. Brittany Merrill said to say hello. She's live on her own chat elsewhere. Okay. <laughs> How am I gonna make money if I stop doing lives? Um, I have some other things. You know, you don't have to worry about my income. <laughs> but it's not just that. It's um also like I'm gonna be doing recorded content. So. My old video was like, I think they incur money because I just somehow make money, I don't know. So I just, well, just, I'm going to be shifting my content a bit, you know, and I think that that just naturally happens with sometimes, I mean, it's just the, naturally the end of an era. Hi, <laughs> Sam. The end of an arc, you know. A few weeks ago, you were doing more content because you needed money. Well, how did I find the... <laughs> Like, FUPA, it's called whenever you're in a situation, you find ways to fix your situation. So just because my situation was a certain way a month ago or a couple months ago or even a week ago, doesn't mean that it is that way now. Like I said, life is always moving forward, never backward, right? So sometimes opportunities come at us when we least expect them. And no, I'm not doing it. People are like, oh, there's a property investment. I have to be paid to be married. Like, what? Like... That's the dumbest thing I ever heard in my life, actually. <laughs> oh. Look who it is. Look who she is. Mm. Oh. Are you the smartest man I've ever seen? Oh. Yes. Yes. Oh. Oops. What are you doing, Oops? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> you funny. Hey, Missy Moo. Sorry, Samuel. Hi, Ashley. Well, I've had a headache all night. Ugh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Teddy. BBJ is fine. Aisha, you guys are not getting notifications. Ouija board bees. I'm not Ouija board bees. Okay, Sam. What are you doing? Chip with your membranes. <laughs> You're in the shower. Okay, come here. Okay, Sam. Sorry guys. So this is just a really lazy bees, like a bedtime bees. I need to do bedtime bees sometimes. Oh. Oh, <laughs> Did you call me? So do you guys have any questions that I can't answer? Like I'm not gonna be too personal, but <laughs> I don't know. They look like the bird lady. Uh, really? Oh, that's cool. Paneer Pondu. Oh, hey, Paneer. We've got one for this one. <laughs> yes, I know. It's a, it's a game, the future. We don't know uh, pet names, personal information. <laughs> I guess everything you guys are going to want to know is personal information. 
This feels like a first date back together after we just broke up, Stephanie. I know. Is the area around the new place walkable? The seats are you can leave without needing to drive always. Uh, yeah. I think so. Um, not well. It's possible. Does your mother find what you're doing is okay? No. No. Um, I don't know. You weren't wrong. What did I say? You look good though, so hopefully all these changes are helping. Thank you. It's good for peace, yeah. I know. The bus access, yeah. Especially if, you know, I'm traveling around and stuff. Yes, he's a grown man. <laughs> She's not a child, so her mother doesn't have much say. Pretty much. I mean, your parents can always, when you're an adult especially, your parents will always be concerned about you and your life choices. But it doesn't mean that you're they're going to disown you just for making the wrong ones. Or if they do, then they're shitty parents to begin with. And second of all, um, they can only wish you well and give you their suggestions. When you're an adult, you have a right to live your life the way you want. I don't know when people are going to realize that, but hey, it's a thing. <laughs> Yeah, of course. Well, I didn't say it was perfect, but... <laughs> yes, of course, we were perfect. Of course. Of course. All right, my bad, y'all. Okay. P, let the what was out. Um. All right, y'all. Quick moment of two seconds. I know this is totally off topic, but... Every year, and keep your eyes peeled online in the store... Old Navy or American Eagle gives away these blankets. And sorry, I was like, let me get the dog's blankets. Um, and I've been using this stuff called Ecos. I get it from Walgreens. It's plant-based, no dyes, no stuff on the dog blankets. Really trying to narrow down. I don't use dryer sheets, none of that. But anyways, around this time, every year, if you're going to buy stuff, Christmas gifts, stuff for yourself... I get these blankets. Now, last year I missed it, but I think I've got two at this point. They'll do around, I think it's around um, Thanksgiving or something. But these are just great, and they're soft. And I love them for my dogs, and they're a quick gift in a pinch. Thank you, Amber Nicole. Nice, Nashies. Yeah, I came across it. It was on sale, the uh, Ecos uh, laundry detergent. And, um... I got a, I, it had, guys, look on your laundry soaps. You'll find those little pool tabs. It was on sale, and it had, like, a dollar off. And I had a dollar off of Walgreens points. So, I got this laundry soap for the dog blankets. And it's no dyes, no, uh, it's, it's a plant base. It's, listening to salads, piano playing is giving a headache. Yeah, it's kind of the same, dun, dun, dun. Yo, I'm getting hot running around. Um, whew. Um, but, um, he plays with the, um, he plays with music. Sorry, y'all, the heat is cranking and I got the heater on for the dogs. Y'all, Menards has those little fireplaces that's been on sale lately. But anyways, keep your eyes peeled. I wish I knew the date and, uh, I'll show you guys if I get an email. But, um, these are great. You can give them in a gift or they're great for pets or just, you know, if you've got kids or even you. You know, if you're already going to get stuff. So, Simon absolutely loves this. Um, okay, I got those. Hugh, I got the Sucker Razor earrings at, um, Spencer's. Spencer's, um, are those, y'all remind, Hugh, I haven't worn those in a minute. They're somewhere in the archives. I got another pair here. I'll give y'all a spoiler alert here. Look at these I got this year at Meyer. <laughs> y'all, I've been waiting to show y'all these, but screw it, I'll give you. These came from Meyer. These came from Meyer. Look at these. Yeah, these, but uh, the ones with the suckers came from Spencer's, but these came from Myers. 
Yo, and that was, uh, I think they have these all year round. Not quite as fancy, but they have these at Spencer's all year round. Yeah, they do have little machetes at Spencer's all year round, but I had Meyer points, so I got these. So I do have some bangers to put out this year, but the suckers are somewhere in there. All right, y'all, let's do it. Lady, welcome. Um, let me get Mr. Wiggs' blanket, too. But, yeah, so I've been doing all the time. Shannon, welcome, Shannon. We were just talking about you. Welcome, love. Shannon, welcome. I apologize. <laughs> I cannot believe this joker really told you to go spend some more time somewhere. Not a gamer. They have surgical still, and sometimes you can catch them on sale at Spencer's. I've got some little... um. Uh, Foodie basically went hammer on Shannon. And then Shannon, did you catch coming up in this? I don't know if you've seen it. Her chat says, I'm going to go troll Shannon. And she says, okay. Foodie, you break terms of service. And your chat is going to get you knocked off. Uh, not a gamer. A lot of those ones are in like the case. And they'll like, you got to have it open. But I got some of these ones. And they look like... um gauges but they're fake and um play us a song mr salad man <laughs> play us a song mr salad man anyway shannon i would unprivate anything i had i don't know if you deleted that stuff but shannon that is a lost soul that i would no matter i don't care if she came crying back to you i think you're a lot like i am are you familiar with the telegram i am not fat belly kid um Shannon, I don't know if you privated those or delete them. Oh, damn it, Shannon. I was hoping you privated them. Shannon, that's a soul that I would, uh, I'd write off forever. I know you've got quite a past, but, uh, salad themes of his fruit salad. Yummy, 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 yummy food. By the Wiggles, look it up. Um, remember that parody that I did, um, the Halloween that we watched at the end, remember, it was like, I like food. Yummy, 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 yummy food. Shit, and that shit, look, I swear to God, I had somebody email me about that shit, okay, before I got on here. To tell somebody that they need to go back to the mental hospital, that was a low blow, dude. That was a low blow. I could not believe. I, I had, Shannon, before I got on here, I had somebody email me and say, did you see this? I am heated. That was a low blow. And like I said, we're going to get back to it. And uh, her chat's going to end up getting her. But you cannot go incite your chat to go harass somebody that's against terms of service she didn't even stop him she's like ha, 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 ha. so stella welcome shannon she knew they were coming over there to harass you she knew that sage welcome yeah she knew that they were and she's like ha, ha, ha. then she laughs tonight about blocking people so y'all go ahead and think foodie cares about you she's like i was a real in some of my old streams. <laughs> okay. Welcome, Purple. All right, y'all, let's get back to it. Shannon, I'm glad you're working on yourself. And um, let's be honest, I've came on here, talked about, you know, being in recovery, talked about my past addiction. And it's sad when people, you know, go there. She The other day, I don't know if you've seen it, Shannon, she's like, Kaya's uh, shaming S-Jam. Kaya never shamed S-Jam. Now, if you want to talk about driving allegedly, then yeah, maybe. But, um, yes, Joanne, it is very hot in the slabs in the summer. And Shannon, um, you know that I'm up day, night with my narcolepsy sometimes. If you ever need me, I'm out here. I'm out here. Yeah, she did get another hundred subs, I noticed, y'all. Loving and caring. Dad thing, foodie won't. Dad thing, I'm assuming sad thing is foodie won't enough, at least 
Shannon was woman enough to get help and proud of you, Shannon. And I, loving and caring, I'm absolutely with you. You know, it, it takes a strong person to come on here and then, you know, you're vulnerable. And people will always use that. Thank you, Dr. Bella, welcome. You know, people do that with me. And, you know, Shannon, depending with my narcolepsy. Um, good night, Masha. I hope you have a lovely day at work. Um, you're good. No, you're good, loving and caring. That's why I seen that. I was like, I'm assuming they mean sad. You're good. Um, it, it, you know, if I can help somebody at the end of the day, and that's all right. You know, they sit here, you know, SGM talks about me shaming him, but yet, yeah, oh, Kaya's brain's fried, drugs she's done, all the substances. Now, the other night, we had somebody come in here talking about Fent Pops for Halloween. I was like, yeah, that's real funny, talking about... No, oh, and kids Halloween. Real classy. And and Shannon, I'm always around. My email's always in my description of my regular videos. So, you know, do you? And Shannon, at the end of the day, you could be helping somebody else. And we all work together and help each other. So. Space, welcome. Wow. Space says... Hey, y'all, I was a VIB for months, and she blocked me for asking why. Why is she sending confusing messages? Oh, being okay with someone offensive jokes, but not others horrible. She's never accountable. And welcome, Space. Um, you're welcome here. She, blo she blatantly laughs tonight about blocking people. It's like you're, you wonder why people, see, she doesn't like me. Because she's like, and Kaya needs to stop saying that I don't care for my people. Dude, you just laughed about it tonight about blocking them, literally. And you pretty much busted yourself out and said, yeah, when Salah's asleep, I get bored. So there again, you're using them because old boy's asleep. So that means to tell me that if old boy is awake, you're not going to be on here. So when it's convenient for you to be on here, Pagan, welcome. Well, either way, Pagan, it's just for people I felt like it was getting used to me in a derogatory. AC, welcome, love. Um, I felt like it was being used to me as a derogatory. They do, what it what was it y'all Kaya Simon's fit life or something, so you know it, it it to me it was being used in a derogatory manner, you know that that's that's the way I felt. Gypsy, welcome. Yeah, their first account pagan was like Kaya Fentanyl Simon's or some shit Fent. I gotta be careful y'all. Damn it. All right y'all, let's get back to it. This is tonight. My bad. I know I've been talking a lot. Oh. Keep my fat mouth. Melanie, welcome. Welcome, hey, Kim. Yes, yes, I just wanted to talk to you guys for a little while, you know? I know you're not wearing lashes. Are you using different mascara? No, I'm just using what I have, like a roller lash right now. Family's reaction. I, I did talk about that. They were, they were respectful. Your mom is probably like mine when she tells you her concerns and then lets us learn from our mistakes. She would step in if she felt you were in danger, obviously. Yeah. No wheelchair freezing, Ashley. <laughs> Tonight, no. I mean, why could people still go to their parents to get opinions on their life? Hi, Rebe. I, for dinner, I had, what did we order? Oh, urban street chicken. It wasn't that good. I learned to always listen to our mothers. <laughs> um. You seem way less happy on stream. Oh, no, I think I'm a lot more happy, like, with my personal life. It's me threatening to send you to camp again. <laughs> um, just because people tell you that you feel a certain way or do something doesn't mean it's true. And I would say 99.7% of the time with my case, it's true. Like, if I just listen to some of the things people say, it's like, no, you're wrong, <laughs> 100%. Mall chicken always sounds better. It is kind of gross, yeah. It's always like weird chopped up chicken thighs. You know what I mean? 
but the thing is, is there's no red flags. You people are making up things for drama, and it, none of it's true, like, at all. Do you people spend hours and hours a day with this person? And don't forget, oh, well, when does he have time to work? Um, Seven-hour time difference. What about that? We make it work. You people don't know how I live my life behind the scenes. You have zero authority to say anything. You have zero grounds to say anything that you don't know about. So it's like, and the fact that you revel in possibly somebody's downfall makes you a bigger piece of shit than the person you're criticizing and the fact that you don't realize that makes you an insane moron and i love that for you like seriously all of you are big the fact that you revel in someone's downfall didn't we just uh didn't you just tell shannon to go back to a mental hospital and <laughs> how that these are her words not mine claudia welcome yeah, how the how the thing go, the Joe Kane go, Shannon? How'd that work out for you? So you're you're talking about, you know, you shouldn't rival in somebody's downfall, but you basically just laughed at Shannon's situation, told her she needed to go back to the mental hospital. At least she's getting help. At least she's keeping herself accountable and not to repeat myself. She didn't have to come on here and tell everybody what was going on. She could have simply stayed ghost for a while. Some people like to come on here and help others and say, yo, if you're struggling, it's okay to get help. So you're sitting here in one sentence talking about people's downfall, but when it benefits you to bash Shannon, it's okay. Now, if you, yeah, thank you, Okie Doll. How is that working out for you, Shannon? That's what she said. Thank you, Okie Doll. Um, red flags. You're talking about, oh, people are making up things. People are making up things about investment properties. Freda, Welcome. You are the one that came on here talking about, I think I'm going to invest my money into properties. Now, people have speculations. People have conspiracies. But then did y'all see, she's like, eh, and she wouldn't say my name. Yeah, I listened to about two minutes and you paid a hater to make a video about me. First off, Vanessa could give two flying shits about you. Second off, I specifically said that I didn't pay Vanessa. So you like to twist things and come up with your own theories and your own off-the-wall shit. So, I live in a shed. I'm this, I'm that. Oh, then I seen somebody say that Kaya's never met the person she's with. Okay. Go ahead and think that. Kaya's never met the person she's with. Well, I'll tell you what. If I hadn't, bet they never asked me to send them any money. Now, I'm not saying she has or hasn't. Slim, welcome. There's... You're, you're not understanding, foodie. There is red flags. How many of you guys have came and met somebody or not met them and they've talked about investment properties with you before? How many people have you started dating, started talking to, whatever you want to call it, she's doing with this guy? How many people in the first week have you started talking about investment properties with? I haven't. I haven't. So I think that's quite an... Now, here's another thing. Why is the person... And again, I don't know if this is real. Why is the person that allegedly was talking to him too on Twitter, he was talking to the same thing with them with? Any correlations, but no, we're making this up.
Nobody's making nothing up. People have speculations. Jersey, welcome. Yeah, thank you. And if anybody asks you guys to marry them in the first two days, that if that ain't a red flag, I don't know what is. You guys know I've been engaged forever, but am I in a rush to get married? Absolutely not. I don't need a piece of paper. I don't need in the government's eyes to say you guys are together. Financially, if I don't want to spend money on a big wedding or a small wedding, I want to do things when I have the money and it's right. So, you know, one minute. Okay, that's another thing I noticed today. One minute you talk about coming on here. We're not getting married, guys. We're not. And then tonight you slip up and say, well, when we get married, dude. Exactly. Exactly, Freda. I don't, I don't need a marriage certificate to say I'm with somebody. I don't need that. I don't need that. I got this ring. I got the rings I needed sized in my security box. I showed you guys last winter for Christmas. I'm good. Oh, exactly. Heather says, girl, you know Chantal sees red flags and thinks, oh, look at the parade and waddles right to it. Absolutely. It's, it's, she's not getting it. People are telling her things and she's just, no, no, that's not right, y'all. That's not right, y'all. You guys are wrong. You're making shit up. Well, I will tell you. He was talking to somebody else on one of the profiles. They literally were talking about investment properties and marriage. Any red flags? Any, uh... Oh, I can't show you all one thing I got in there for Halloween. Any common denominators? Any common things? Sorry, y'all. I got a Halloween prop in here. I can't show y'all. correlations dude but we're, we're making stuff up and and shannon if it happens it's her own fault you know this is another thing that that blows my mind and we'll get right back to it we're gonna watch we're gonna skip a part here in a minute she has pete he says i brought up two crushed sodas sherry v welcome love well i want one she said i need a regular soda and i need a sweet soda Second off, what does dude think about you living with your ex? What does he think of that? You per pretty much take care of your ex as a butler. So she has him bring up a plate of... I don't know, Nancy. Nancy says, is this house and scammer connected? I don't know. I think we've seen this house. Because she keeps saying, once you guys see the stove, and then she keeps saying, I don't even know if I can show you guys my bedroom. To me, that says we've seen this house before. Um, I think it's a combination of both, Slim. Thumbs up, y'all. Make sure you're subscribed. Um, I think it's a combination of both. I think she is believing everything this guy tells her. Habitual welcome, love. Um, I think she is the type of person that believes anything. Oh, shit. Somebody get at me. DG's saying that house is on the farms. Will somebody hit your girl with an email? Allegedly. Trailer Park, at the end of the day, you gotta think. This, this, this pad isn't hers. Welcome, Sarah Jane. This pad isn't hers. So, you know, I, I everybody wants to move and needs a new spot. But at the end of the day, think about it. You know, not to go back, but what we've discussed. She's saying that the people go to Mexico, quote unquote, and they have a cottage in Canada. So they could want their house back at any given time. Let's keep it funky. I 
I feel like he's paying for that house. That's one, too. I tried to tell her that a Western man wouldn't be okay with her living. Eastern men are more conservative with that. I agree, Lumba. I agree. Absolutely. Um, I don't know Western or foreign men that would be happy with somebody living with their ex, let alone taking care of them. Um, Susan, welcome. Yeah, I, I don't see many people being happy with um, their ex being their butler. And here's another thing, y'all. And, and call me an asparagus or whatever. Your cat is older. And she's talking about in this video, going if she goes to Kuwait. If she goes to Kuwait, she's going to go for three months. You need to take that cat to the vet first. You need to take the cat to the vet. She's talking about, I'm going to leave Pete's with the emergency vet. How's he going to get the cat there? Is he going to hop on his magic um, comic book bus and go? What if an emergency popped off? How is he getting the cat to the vet? He will not take himself to the grocery store when he needs ghosties. Come on now. My friend the other day, she's like, what the hell is Goshi's, Kaya? I was like, he says groceries, Goshi's. How is he going to get the cat there? I hope she goes to Kuwait. I really do. She wouldn't even, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Iron. She, she won't, she wouldn't even go off the island of, um, she wouldn't even go off the island of Cuba by herself. Pieces of crap than me because you all criticize me when you're not angels. You do more fucked up shit and all you do is just criticize someone to the point of it turning into bullying. You're insane. I'm so sick of this stupid ass word bullying. I am so sick. Chantal, you are a bully. Wendy, welcome up. You talk about Miss Anne again tonight. Greta, welcome. Oh, I want her to go. I hope she goes to Kuwait. She talks about Miss Anne tonight. You ought to be ashamed. She's like, well, if the old woman can dish it out, then she can take it. Well, calling somebody a mommy, dude, you, you just have a bad... You just have a bad vibe about you. And don't get me wrong. Exactly, Sarah. You and that buckwheat shit. She's like, I was calling white creators, white reaction channels, buckwheat. Bullshit. I've never heard you say buckwheat ever. You heard that shit from someone. You had that in the back of your mind ready to use. You got caught up with the buckwheat shit. You weren't expecting people to call you out for that shit. Yeah, I seen that, Colleen. For their cats, though. For their cats, Colleen. Nobody's going to pay for somebody else's animals. The vet is expensive. Let's keep it funky. Nobody's going to pay for somebody else's animals. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Them damn pecans and like... Nobody's going to pay somebody else's vet bills. And what this guy... Let's just say if this guy is real. And if this all goes down. What's this guy going to think? What's this guy going to think of her sending her ex money to pay the rent and to buy his food and everything else? Exactly, Tracy. Absolutely. I don't say phrases that I don't know what they mean. Exactly, Mandy. I don't, I don't, I don't make up things that I don't know what they mean. She didn't expect to get called out for that buckwheat shit. I've never heard her say that before until that night. She had that in the back of her mind, ready to go. Exactly, Hugh. Shannon, allegedly the 29th, but now she's scared that FFG is going to pull up and stalk her. 
and this stupid you mad thing. Chantal, nobody's obsessed with you. At least nobody over here. And that whole you mad thing, I could give zero shits less about you. She's like, stay mad. Who's mad? Nobody gives a shit. The one of that, that's one of the most annoying things she says. Stay mad. Dude, you're the one that's acting mad. Nobody gives a shit. I, I could give a shit. Exactly, now she's FFG. I don't know, Duncan. I don't know who she was referring to, but either way. Um, it's not shit. I meant to add it to my belt. It's in, like, the makeup. Um, guys, my email and post office box, the lives drop right after. It's in, like, the makeup, the holes. Exactly, Shannon. She's like, she's really scaring me. You, She turned up to a public event. Ponderous, we drop my email? I'm sorry. Or, guys, get a pen. Let me know when you... Exactly, Mrs. Haversom. She's like, I'm kind of getting scared. No, dude, you, you ate a wheelchair that night and you were paranoid. You can always tell when she does those wheelchairs, those gummies, because she gets paranoid. Nobody cares enough about you to give a flying shit and camp out to see when you're moving. Exactly, Tish. That was a lie, too. Right, donor? That's the only person that might... Yeah, she's like, who started the rent rumor that uh, SGM was moving in with me? Uh, SGM's the one that said you had an extra room. That's who started it. Him. Let me know when y'all get a pen. I'll give you my email right quick. And it's always in, like, the makeup, the holes. Okay, it's M-I-S-S-K-Y-A-26 at iCloud.com. And I will, you guys are right, I need to add that to the about, I apologize. Guys, I'm going to put the about, my email, and the P.O. box. And my PayPal, if you don't fit, you want to drop me a coffee, nothing. My PayPal is the same email. So the email goes to the PayPal. If you don't want to lose 30% or you want to drop me a coffee or anything like that, it's the same email. Okay, P.O. and email and about. Sorry, y'all. I've been meaning to do that. Okay, you guys ready? M-I-S-S-K-Y-A-26 at iCloud.com. Thank you, Ponderous. There it is, y'all. If you need to go back, thank you, Ponderous. Um... All right, y'all, let's get back to it. Um, why does it look like she's about to pick her? All right, y'all, let's get right back to it. Go ahead if you need to go back up. Ponderous. Yeah, she's like, Miss N says I don't bathe. I don't wash. Well, anybody that can take a four-minute shower, that's a bigger woman. Do I think you're getting all your bits and bobs clean? Absolutely not. Anybody that keeps Vagisil in their purse by the ton. Yes, if anybody, uh, Ponderous, I don't know if you can pin that comment to the top. Is that a thing? And there's my emails if you guys need to go back up. Again, same as, um, it's the PayPal is the same email. My little emojis on the PayPal. And like I said, no pressure if you want to send me a coffee or anything. I know some people don't like to, you know, lose the 30%. Crystal part. Ew, I know. Uh, I hate that. Let's go back five dollars for a meal right before closing and I need to sell all the leftovers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now it's weird. Now remember she said she had bourbon chicken or something. A little bit down the road she says she had paneer. So she's ordered twice today already. So she's like, yeah, I'm losing weight. Get ready. She's like, I'm losing weight. Somebody in the chat says you look like you're losing weight. Oh, definitely slim. There's so many. One minute it's this slim. One minute it's that. Yes. And guys, if you send the PayPal. And like I said, no, no. Put um, coffee money, here's a coffee, Halloween party funds. That way they don't tax $5. 
just put like, here's for our yearly Halloween party, here's a coffee, that way I don't have to pay tax on five or, you know, whatever dollars. And no, like I said, I know nothing. I'm just glad you guys are here. I just know that some people are like, I don't want to lose my 30%. I want to leave you a tip, but I don't want to lose my 30%. So yeah, always just put, you know, here's for our Halloween, here's for our Christmas pair party, here's coffee, a new pair of shoes, just anything, y'all know. <laughs> I come home to. I hate that piece, Laura. I guess you would say crooked fingers if it's you. They call you. I okay. So Yaba makes fun of your crooked fingers. She's a fucking mother. I find that absolutely fucking disgusting. That people like bully people like that online. Like what kind of example? Like I don't get it. I don't get it. Like, is that not just like, is that not gross? <sighs> yes, that's what I want. Just people who are here to be corpse. I don't need people here who are just like to criticize my life. Vardy Havardi, Earth Angel. Criticizing someone to the point of bullying him exactly, exactly. Oh, they're so dumb. No. I'm talking about Sam and Yabba. Sam's a grandmother. Like, if my grandmother bullied people, fat people online all day, I would be mortified. Wouldn't you? You would expect, I'm sorry, you would expect like 10 year olds to act like this. I'm trying very hard to ignore all the gossip out there. Yeah, it's really pathetic. It's just like, how does anyone listen to it? Are people that bored, I guess? Hey, welcome to Very Important Reason Reset Rebees. Anyway, um, so all those morons need to have several seats. <laughs> Love and let live. Golden girl, ready, set, rebeams. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Yeah, probably some fondue. I don't know. It just gets tiring, you know? Like, the shocking people at that age are still on YouTube. My mom is 70 and they're always still asking how to copy and paste. <laughs> well, Vera, how would they meet if they, like, no? <laughs> I don't think that will, I don't think that will happen, but we'll see. Very intelligent message. Number for nine months, but I had to change payment. Oh, okay. <laughs> people are confused with the sudden change. Well, people can be confused if they want, but I mean, why are they so closed-minded as to just, they don't know what's going on, so they just make up a whole bunch of theories? Like, <laughs> that's so stupid. Oh, well, how about, um, how about, how about the fact that we need to raise it, maybe? <laughs> Dude, it blows my mind that people are still subscribing and rebies in. This blows my mind. And what makes a difference if somebody's a mother or grandmother? If their children are taken care of, what what makes a difference? Welcome everybody here. Welcome everybody chilling in the background. Make sure you're subscribed. Thumbs up. Welcome, welcome. Members, thank you guys for rebeezing. Like, it has to always be something sketchy. Like, Oh, like, it has to be property investment. No, how about just the fact that people fall in love? You said property investment. You said that. Leandra, welcome, love. You said property investment. Coffee, welcome. Oh, my gosh, I love the name. Coffee Sandworm. You should put the Sandworm from um, Beetlejuice for Halloween on your community, or your thumbnail. Yeah, the Sandworm on there. Like, it happens. Like, whatever. What have I got to offer? What have you got to offer that I don't? Like, what, what I suppose... Oh, this is great. Somebody said, what have you got exactly, Hugh? Who cares if somebody's children are situated or their grandchildren? Creek, welcome, love. Y'all, get ready. This is great. Somebody's like, what do you have to offer? Get ready. This is beautiful. But people are any better. What have I got to offer? I'm a freaking pro starfisher. Um, I make a decent income. I'm a friggin' boss bitch. And I'm pretty. So, 
why wouldn't somebody want to marry me? Get a life. And I make people happy that I'm around in real life. So you know what? Yes. Sam. She's a pro starfisher. Yeah, nothing exactly, Shannon. Nothing like bragging about being a dead lay if you catch my drift. Um, I make a decent income. Um, yes, she did psych ward. She's a pro starfisher. So you're you're a pro dead layer. Um, second off, where do I even begin? You. I'm not saying, you know, male, female, any partners, whatever, you know, you like, you, it's, it's, it's a mutual deal. You don't clean the house. You're going to see at the end of this, you don't go get your own food. Uh, if YouTube, you would get the boot, Petty, welcome. If you would get the boot from YouTube, you got no other income. Um, need I go on? You take a four minute shower in and out. Yo, it takes me probably two minutes to wash my hair. And she's pretty and she's great to be around in real life. Well, you don't really have any real life friends. You verbally abuse your beezers. Um, need I, we, we could be here all night with that one. Do you think, I'm going to be serious, and Chantal, if you hear this, yeah, smothering yourself in Vagisil. Dude, I sometimes, my family's like, what the hell are you doing in there? I'm like, I got to shave my pits, shave my legs, wash my hair, take off my makeup, you know, Sometimes I'll brush my teeth in there if I'm getting ready for the stream and listening to stuff. I love a good shower teeth brush, not going to lie. Um, wash all my bits and bobs. Do you think, let's just, we like to pretend over here. Let's, let's get out our, I can't do it because the dogs are asleep. Bring, bring. Do you think. That if you married this dude, let's just, let's pretend. Do you think that if you married this guy, do you think this guy is just going to let you set back and chill? He's going to pay all the bills. You're not going to cook. You're not going to vacuum the couch, fluff the pillows, change the sheets on the bed. Sweep and mop, etc., etc., etc. Wash the blankets, wash the sheets. Do you think that this this guy is going to go for that? Seriously? Okay. Yes, Petty. Let me not. A. It accumulates the trolls, and B. It wakes the dogs. So that's our Mrs. Kaya's neighborhood. Um. You, you look at the look on her face. Even she knows she's full of shit right now. We we got to hear this again, y'all. And then I think we're gonna skip for. Well, I think this when it starts getting good. It it does pick up here in a minute. The beginning is okay. I had to change. Oh, okay. <laughs> People are confused with the sudden change. Well, people can be confused if they want, but I mean, why are they so closed-minded? Just they don't know what's going on, so they just make up a whole bunch of theories, like. <laughs> what? That's so stupid. Oh well, how about um, how about how about the fact that we need to raise it, maybe? <laughs> how about you buy a tripod again? Where is all your tripods? How do you lose a tripod? Uh, Mystique, this was earlier tonight. Guys, welcome. We're watching earlier tonight. Where are your tripods? Where's your tripods? How do you lose a tripod? That's, I might lose an earring or a bracelet or, how do you lose a tripod? Thank you for being members. Thank you guys for rebeating. Like, it has to always be something sketchy. Like, oh, like, it has to be property investment. No. Right, unicorn? People fall in love. Like, it happens. Like, whatever. What have I got to offer? 
what have you got to offer that I don't? Like, what, what I suppose that you got people are any better? What have I got to offer? I'm an I freaking pro star fisher. Um, I make it decent. Nice, DG. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, DG. I will check it out. I'm a freaking boss bitch. And Girl with the fry tattoo. Welcome, love. Pretty. So why wouldn't somebody want to marry me? Get a life. And it makes people happy that I'm around in real life. So you know what? Yes. Sam. <laughs> I'm funny. It's funny that the rest of the children are more mad and upset about the VIP membership and you not being an ass active than the actual VIBs. I know. Like, why would you guys be all mad? I haven't, like, been live, what, for a few days? Like, like you guys have gotten, like, hours and hours of live streams for how long? Uh, Duncan, I don't. It's super small in here. I don't. I don't. I wish I did, but I don't. And Bible colors being casual racist regarding hijabs and the communities allowed and justify it. If that were me making fun of someone in a hijab or saying like Hamadan or something like that, SpongeBob, SpongeBob, garbage pail, fucking kid. If that were me instead of SpongeBob, garbage pail, kid, imagine the outrage that I don't care about. Be okay, offended. check this out too. She's like, I don't have any makeup on today. She says earlier, she doesn't have any makeup on, y'all. What is that? What is that? Again, making t-shirts. Uh, do we see eyeliner and crustacean mascara? It may not be today's makeup, but you got makeup on, player. She's like, do you guys like me with no makeup? Dude, see, that's how insecure she is. She needs everybody's, like, do you guys like me? She's like, I don't have any makeup on today. Dude, you have eyeliner on. You can clearly tell. Exactly, there's glitter on your eyelids. You literally have makeup on. What are you... It, it may not be today's, but... Exactly, Zen. She's like, I don't have any makeup on, guys. Uh, yeah, you do, bud. Yeah, you do. You, you look at that. You can clearly tell that's eyeliner or mascara. You you clearly have makeup on, buddy. <laughs> Thank you, Lurley. I guess. Tony, welcome, no, love. I'm blocking Miss Holly either. She's annoying. <laughs> I also get extra sauces at drive throughs Exactly. She gets extra sauces at drive throughs uh, because you asked for extra sauce. Good night, Chantal. You're delusion. I get extra sauce at drive throughs Uh, yeah, you asked for sauce. Jessica, welcome, love. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Rusty. You got it. Like, you want to play in the Kuwait? I'll be stuffing myself in one seat. Stay mad. <laughs> okay, this was great. I got to stop for this. I'll be stuffing myself in one seat. Stay mad. <laughs> well, guess what? None of us give a flying shit about you stuffing yourself <laughs> in one seat. And the only body that's going to be mad by the end of the plate or the plane is you. Okay? Their boss, Biznai. So <laughs> stay mad. That saying is absolutely crawls under my skin when she says that stay mad dude do we look pissed do i look like i'm any sort of mad and you're the only one that's going to be pissed after a 17 hour and mad after a 17 hour flight so please if you do go please uh show us beginning a flight and per se after Dude, this was funny. The other day, she's like, they have awesome malls over there. Oh, we've seen your attitude in the mall. You uh, don't do too good in malls, per se. You look for a seat every 10 minutes. Your aunt was carrying your wallet. Stay mad, bro. You and malls, uh, get out your nose, too, by the way. You and moles, don't I? Who wants to go? Now, y'all know I love to shop. 
But who wants to go to another country to hang out at the mall all the time? I go in, get my crap, and I'm out. I literally, I don't, I go in there, I might stop at Bath and Body, film a quick, quick clip for y'all, run in where I ever need to go to, and I'm out. Who wants to go to another country, a whole ass country, to hang out at the mall? Stay mad. And get out your nose. See, all these, you need to, these little habits of yours aren't going to be, I don't think these little habits are going to go too good in another country. Exactly, Tony. There's a, she keeps talking about the Krispy Kreme donuts. Oh, yes, yeah, Slim, easy. Uh, Did she just scary. pick a gar? Is his profile there right now? <laughs> Nurse, welcome, love. Literally, he would have no time. I'm with him from the moment he wakes on, on video. Like, even, like, throughout the whole day. Like, it's stupid. Like, anyway, I'm not mad, so. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the one screenshot is so obviously photoshopped, too. Yeah, exactly. No, he, he did have a Tinder at one point. That's how I met him, so. <laughs> yeah, it was probably FFG trying to match with him. Uh-uh. Sure so. Did she just do the old wipe and bite? Did she just do the nibble? Nobody who's that obsessed, like, if you talk that much about somebody and are that obsessed with someone, you definitely want them. I guess you're having a drive through sauce drawer in the mansion. <laughs> no wonder you're worn out, yeah. Anyway. Ugh. <sighs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sucking this. Did I miss? Hold on, y'all. What's with the blood? Chantal drives to another country for McDonald's. Thank you, Amber Nicole, and you are absolutely right. You are absolutely right, and thank you. Yeah, I didn't think of the old, uh, did she, not a gamer, she did the quick, and I seen that. I'm like, not a drive through boogieing. I don't think she understands that dude does not look, and you know, you know, I eat a little vittles here and there, but dude is probably not eating out every single day. So if she thinks it's going to be, you know, Krispy Kreme every day and TGI Fridays and a lot of people don't have the money for that every day. She's like, well, I, you know, I'm going to go over there and, you know, I don't need a lot of money, but I do need some. Wow, Lisa, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, be careful, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of people don't have money to go out to eat every single day. And you, like, we went to, um, I had got that coffee at Nordstrom's, and my grandma wanted to go to Cracker Barrel, and I was like, dude, I can eat at home. I just went and got a bunch of groceries. She's like, no, I want to go. I was like, all right, whatever. I got a water. She has to get a drink, an appetizer. Da, 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 da. Like, I know how to go eat out on a budget. I don't need a soda. I don't need a coffee. I don't need, I don't need an appetizer. And that's even if I'm paying. Tober, welcome, love. Oh, I hope you're all right, Tober. Or Tober. I don't, I don't need, if I go out, I don't like, I don't need everything. I don't need dessert. I don't need everything. I can go out, get me a water, get me my dinner, and that's cool. I don't need an appetizer. I don't need dessert. Yeah, if it's somewhere cool, I'll take dessert home sometimes, but I don't need, you know, 10 different drinks. Exactly, Mandy. Yeah, I'm cool with water. Water is fine. And I had that coffee, so I needed to drink water anyways. Yeah, I was like, you know what? I've had coffee today. Let me go ahead and get me a water. Oh, oh yeah, that baby and it's not that? before Chantal says, oh, Kaya can't afford a drink. Yes, I can get a drink. My deal is, if I have coffee, I don't want to get a headache. I'll drink a water. So before you say, oh, Kaya goes out to eat and... If I want to get 10 different beverages, I can. 
But if I just want water, I get water. If I'm trying to budget, I just went and bought a bunch of groceries. So... Oh, wow, Ponderous. See, that's what's weird. My dinner last night is huge. I'm going to have that when I get off here. I had a chicken croissant. I got a croissant at Whole Foods and then had some leftover chicken salad. Usually, like, I get the sampler and it was all small portions. And it was huge yesterday. So, I agree, Ponderous. Their portions are definitely... You guys, I like the sampler at Cracker Barrel. You can get, like, a sample of, like, chicken and dumplings and a little bit of everything. Oh, I agree, Jessica. I, Kay, welcome. I hope that she goes to Kuwait. Little Vegas, welcome, love. I, I truly hope. Because she's like, well, there's going to be new content. Get ready for when I move, there's going to be a new content arc. What's, are you going to drive to show us the leaves again that have fell off the trees? It's going to be winter. Are you going to show us the snow? Yeah, Ponderous. I got a whole ass other mail I'm going to have when I get off here. What do you mean the key is gone? Wait a minute. What? What is this I keep seeing about the Kia? Time out. Wait a minute. Thank you, Jabari. And I hope everything works out. Y'all, I took me a minute to come on here. When I got home, I seen a little hoodie. And I get that, so, But, you know, to say, oh, we're going to go to the mall... You know, I, I get, you know, it'd be cool to check out. But she's like, this dude looks very active. He had swimming as one of his hobbies. Like, you can't go to the mall every day. That's a one or two day, you know, and the mall does look banging. I checked it out. What's this? Um, what's this Kia stuff? Maybe it's like the time in 2018 when she missed it. What, what is everybody getting this Kia stuff? I'm confused. Hold up. But why wait for the comment? I seen this little hoodie and little pants. And they was like, hey. And I was like, and I was letting the dogs out. And they barked. And my friend's like, do you got a minute? And I was like, absolutely. And she was like, I'm fed up with everything. I leave for another place tomorrow another state and I was like totally I got a minute and they was like I'm down and out on my luck you know do you got some skincare samples some travel things and I'm like absolutely you know but sometimes you know it, it, it life is and that's what I told her you know she was having some family issues and I said you know if you got to stay away from your family I've had to let some of my family go Family can be toxic, and if it's not helping your mental health, that's what you got to do, man. Yes, please dig about the Kia being gone. I don't know why she turned in the car because she still owes on a loan. Where are yo? I think it's a joke. R.I.P. the Kia when she moves. Allegedly, Pete says the Kia was gone, Tony said. Huh. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. She can't sell the car. She don't have the title. Remember her aunt said, for what you're paying on this? Remember what her aunt said the other day in the car? Her aunt said, for what you're paying for this, you could be driving something better. Pete said, Pete said she was gone and then corrected himself and said she was there. Could Pete's have met? Oh, okay. There you go, Bella. Could Pete's have met because Sean told the Kia was gone? Okay, exactly, Tish. I don't know, y'all. I truly don't know. Um... Either way, she can't sell... I mean, she could roll the car over on a new loan. But she can't just sell it outright. She doesn't have the title. Her and her aunt were... Yeah, exactly, Potato. Like, what? Who knows what piece to what? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Neon. Maybe that somebody said, like... 
He looked out the window and said because she wasn't there. Um, but yeah, she'd have to roll that loan money onto another car. Exactly fishing. And that was what I found weird for her aunt to say. Well, what you pay for this, you could pay for something new. Uh, well, they don't just erase what you owe, Bubba. I thought that was very weird of her aunt. Nikki, welcome. A 40-something-year-old woman to be like, oh, well, what you... They're going to add that money to your new loan. It just doesn't work that way. Even I know that. Awesome, Nikki. Why, why would the aunt in her 40s not know that you can't just... Yeah, you can roll that money over, but you can't just erase it. Here, guys, take this car in. I owe on it, but here, I want to trade it in. You got to have it paid off before you can trade it in or you roll that money over onto a new loan. And that's if you deal with the same car company. Exactly, Amber. I was like, she's like, well, what you pay for this? Oh, well, Bubba, you can't just, everybody would be getting new cars all the time. Exactly, Colleen. Professional starfish, member for three months. Exactly, <laughs> Potato. <laughs> thank you, thank you. How can you meet someone on Tinder who lives in another country? Um, you can set it to global, and I'm just bored with all the same friggin' Ottawa. People. Oh, this is great. Hold on, y'all. Oh, I've been is... wanting to travel, and you know? so I set it to global. Who's nineteen? Okay, so she's bored with the people from around there. She makes an interesting comment tonight, you guys. She's like, yeah, that's why I had to block the married man, because he was addicted. That's the word she used. Because the married man was addicted. Okay, let's discuss something. We covered this. Wasn't the... Married man trying to pass her off on to his nephew. Yeah, that's the word, Potato. She said, the married man was addicted to me. I had to block him. And then, didn't you get a little salty on here when he said, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Don't get attached to me. Do, do we recall that? Exactly, Okie Doll. So, he's addicted Exactly you. So he's addicted to you, but he was going to pass you off to his nephew. And then you on here, we literally watched it. You got all sad and salty and in the moment. And was like, and he was like, we're just having adult altercations. Yes, and I don't know if it was his nephew, cousin, or somebody. Like you just said. Was it the nephew? Exactly. And she said she didn't mind being passed around. And then remember, he was like, whoa, we're just having adult activities. But he was addicted, y'all. Nashville, welcome, love. Welcome, everybody chilling. Welcome, everybody in the background. Thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed. So he was addicted, though. He w Yes, thank you, Mandy. Don't fall in love with me. I miss that. Addicted. Addicted, y'all. <laughs> you got a giant bag of dresser sauces? You can do that? From where? I always order extra sauces and I throw them out. So stupid. When am I going to Kuwait? <laughs> That is a seat. I'm not sure, honestly. I don't have a date determined just, just yet. American, welcome up. But I'll let you guys will know. You can do that. Chantal, what the person was saying is they put the extra sauces in a bag. Ooh, neon. See, neon, I would say chicken noodle soup because it's cold where I'm at. But a good fajita is always spectacular, too. And Chantal, you let everything lay around and you throw it away. You guys will know, don't worry. Giant bag of hot sauce and soy sauce. 
Imagine how silly you'd have to be to find worldwide Tinder for somebody for another makeup day conversation. To week when you can't find them. <laughs> Sofa, hello! Courtney! Right, Regina, and welcome. Lisa, baby! No chaperone, he's not active on Tinder. It's down, and he's not on Tinder. Dude, get ready. This makes her mad. So here's another thing that people need to wake up and smell the non barracuder This chaperone Sherry lady rode for her ass hard for a minute. And she's like, no, chaperone Sherry. He's not on Tinder. I just made cabbage soup the uh, day before last, the last stream. Yeah. He was on Tinder, Bubba. He was on Tinder. Yes, so you could do a vegetarian version. You could do tofu, um, the tofurkey. Totally. Y'all, look up. There's so much stuff on YouTube to look at vegan and vegetarian recipes. Um, how I got some pumpkin spice vegan cream cheese yesterday. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm not vegan or gluten or I, um, but yeah, I got some, they had, um, vegan, I'll show y'all when we have, uh, this week, but, um, I got it at Whole Foods, vegan pumpkin spice cream cheese, keto lasagna sounds beautiful. Yes, I, I found some really good, man, there's a lot of good stuff out right now. Why do people just automatically just assume the worst? You know? You need to, is there football on? I didn't know. Sorry, Sofa. Sherry's having a, new, a hard time with the new normal. I'm sorry, Sherry, but I think it'll be just fine. I'm actually, you guys have to realize I'm not happy with how you think I should live my life, okay? You need to erase that from your head. I'm never going to be... I, honestly, my parents have to realize they're never going to be happy with any of my life. Yes, Ponderous. And a lot of people will say, well, Kaya, why if you're not vegan or vegetarian? You guys, it's a good way to get, um, to cut calories, too. You guys, I think we got her eating that. You guys know I love that, um, the Impossible Whopper. It, it's just a great way to cut calories. Yeah, it's a, it's an easy way to cut calories. Ever. Could not be like them. Um, he is not active, Sherry. <clears throat> I don't know why people are so fast to go with lies of like other reaction channels but like call me a liar when it's like actually not true when so it's actually like, not true it, actually again y'all we covered this yeah so we covered this in the beginning do i think those screenshots were fake absolutely not do i think that people have the time to sit around and make shit other than her no I think the screenshots were real. You know this community is very big on receipts. Um, yes, American Girl Beats is moving with her. In this video, she says for now, I think. she. Everybody's like, dude, she mentions it tonight again. Why if this place is not yours and set in stone 100... She talks about bringing Pete's mother to live with them as well. Oh, wow, Allie. Thank you for sharing that. Oh, thank you for sharing that, Allie. Okay, well, my bad, Joe. Um, why would you take this woman out of a place that's stable... Why would you do that? But this makes sense. Why? Get ready. She's like, well, she could be, she'd do really good with BBJ. So it's not to help Pete's mom save money in the assisted living. 
here. It's it's to help Chantal. It's not to help her save a couple bucks. Exactly, you. She probably helps, gets assistance if she needs it. And second off, why would you take her out of that atmosphere? But it makes sense. She turns around and says again that Pizza's mother would be good for BBJ. So there again, you know, it's it's all about, you know, you know, her her own her own benefit. I hope Pizza's mom I, I'm not a fan of Pete's, but I hope Pizza's mom does not leave assisted living for there. Um, I can't live, I'm, I'm not going to be living with, I'm not going to be like talking about where I'm going or where I'm living or what we're doing. Because things are like, I'm trying to keep things private, but <laughs> I don't know if there's all inclusive. Oh, wow. But Christy says pizzas. I am Didi. Welcome. Pizza's mom has a cat. See, so, okay, let's just do the math here. So you've got Chantal's two cats. There's already two cats. The other day you mentioned five total. So is there two or is there three? Lunar, welcome. Pete said this would not happen. Okay, Kate, thank you. Exactly, Duncan. And if his mother had to wait a long time for her housing, not a smart move. Those places like um, Duncan just said, they can be hard to get into. You can have to wait. I thought the mom and brother said uh, no already. Well, then she must not know the bat signal because she mentions it in tonight. Um, me too, Lisa. I, I love soup. Yo, I got some focaccia bread. I need to do a Trader Joe's haul tomorrow, but I need to drop the one I got. <laughs> I should drop it and do a rehaul. Yo, I got some focaccia bread and it is so beautiful. Ugh. Yeah, tomorrow I should, y'all should get on my, I gotta drop these two holes I got and quit making an ass and get this shit done. Asians, but there are, there's hotels that uh, for sure I'll be, uh, I'm gonna have all the details eventually, but I'm doing, I'm gonna be doing a video series. If you can celebrate that while you still wear the hijab. Um. Okay, check this out. So somebody said, if you and Sala break up, Exactly, Leonda. Too many animals to integrate together. Order animals. Thumbs up, y'all. Welcome, everybody. Now, look at this. This really takes a minute for her to answer. Um, I can't live. I'm, I'm not going to be living with. I'm not going to be, like, talking about where I'm going or where I'm living or what we're doing. Things are like, I'm trying to keep things private, but <laughs> I don't know if there's all inclusive vacations, but there are, there's hotels that uh, for sure I'll be, uh, I'm going to have all the details eventually, but I'm doing, going to be doing a video series. If you can celebrate that while you still wear the hijab. Um, I would say... Yeah, Sherry, is it you messaging the Tinder? And why are people, like, messaging? Why would it be okay for people to, like, reach out to Salah in any way? At all? Like, how is that okay? Can anyone explain that? <laughs> hey, Rona! So, um... Yes. No. <laughs> um, I don't know, plain cheese, honestly, like, what, what I would do. Like, I'm obviously, like, wearing it out of cultural respect for him, you know, and his culture. But I also do really enjoy wearing it, too, for personal reasons as well. So I'm also confused about my religion right now and stuff. So I'm going through a lot of personal stuff. Like I said, I have a lot of personal reasons for the hijab. And I don't feel like I need to explain to people anymore. You know, I did the video on it. Is, it's a personal choice, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, real future curly did already message him, I'm sure. Um... I swear that's so weird messaging him on Tinder or Instagram. Does that not cross the line? Yep. Yeah. 
Yeah, you guys can be worried. You have a right to, but I still have a right to choose. Like, you know, I'm the one who knows the truth. Like, I'm the one who knows the feelings. I'm the one who knows everything personally, you know. No. They do not. No, no. There's no lives. There's no secret lives. Okay, I want to ask you guys a quick question before I pee in the kitchen. And I want your honest to God because... You know, I showed Chantal years ago her dating profiles. Some people thought it was okay, some people didn't, and I respect all opinions. Do you guys think that showing somebody's dating profile that is not private, do you think that it's crossing the line? One for no, two for yes. Or just put Y here, we'll do it easier. No, N, and Y, yes. Daisy, welcome, love. Do you guys... I personally don't. If it's not a private, you do, sheepy. I don't think it is. If it is a public profile... Now, if it's private, maybe. Ennis, welcome. But I don't think it is. Now, if it's all private, absolutely. But... It's, it was a, okay, welcome, Eve, Evie, welcome, welcome everybody, I, Grumpy, welcome, I don't think, exactly team, I'm with team, I don't think it is because it was already public, bad choices, welcome, um, so she was on her community tab saying, get ready, get ready because it's illegal, and check this out, Tinder has, Oh, okay, left. Um, She says, get ready. She says, we did a privacy, like basically a privacy takedown. She said, we. Exactly. I'm with Oki. If it's a public profile, it's public. It's out there. I agree. Dana, welcome, love. Um, So basically, she's like... You guys are illegal, and I don't either, Duncan. I don't either, but I do think that the pieces of the puzzle, what went with it, with him talking about an to another person, it does kind of go with the red flags. So I do think that it kind of added to what this guy is like, in my opinion. I'm against cow tipping too, but the information that was put out there you know, is about this guy was talking to somebody else. So, and exactly, let's talk what Nashi said. If she hadn't doxed him, none of this would be an issue. I agree, absolutely. And I and I do. Um, I agree with cow tipping as well, but it was useful information that showed, you know, hey, this guy is talking to somebody else. Exactly, Preda. Exactly. She's mad that it got exposed. But if you notice in this video, if we catch the part, she said we. Exactly. That's the thing, Nikki T, that people were telling her. You should be happy people are showing you these things. But again, she doesn't, you know, see it as that. Exactly, Daisy. Yeah, it's okay for her to call somebody buckwheat, but Sal. And then she's mentioning tonight. <laughs> right, Amber? I'm with you, and thank you, Amber. All right, y'all. I'm going to go pee again right quick, wash my hands. They're sticky from that coffee, and I will be right back. Welcome, everybody chilling. Thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed, and let's do it. They just want to ruin everything, exactly. And it's not a traditional way. Okay, of let's be let, one more thing before I go. Nobody, if somebody likes you, it's not going to ruin anything. Let's keep it 100 if somebody likes you for who you are, they're going to look past that. You know, hey, babe, I got haters. I got trolls. They're going to look past that. If they genuinely like you, welcome, Kelly. If they genuinely like you for you, they're going to look past that. If it gets ruined, it gets ruined. It, it, here's what you could have done. You brought this dude to YouTube. 
you put his actual face in a thumbnail. Oh, I do, Velvet. I, I do, Black Velvet. I was on her last stream. I was on her shit list all day. The ones that were deleted, she mentioned me, I think, two or three times the other night. Yeah. See, she doesn't like me because she mentioned one day, she's like, and Kaya telling people that I don't care for them. Do I genuinely think you care for your people? I don't. I don't. You laughed tonight in the stream about blocking people. You think it's funny. You know, yes, we all have bad days. And, um, you know, some of us got a little, you know, and I've apologized. You guys have apologized. But exactly Team Psych Ward. It's the way you talk to them. You specifically said yourself you wouldn't be on here unless it was for the money. I do not think you care for your... You, you just said in the Halloween stores. If you guys are going to be mean and racist, then we're going to need a new set of Beezers. You yourself think everybody's replaceable. You look at them as numbers, in my opinion. You don't look at them as people. In my opinion, you look at 499, 499, 499, 499. And you always say they're replaceable. I think she knows that we're small over here. We're mighty. I stick up for you guys. You stick up for me. You know, um, I think that she deep down... Dude, she has the same lights other than with the moons and stars on. I wore that diamond thing for St. Patrick's Day. She had the gemstone on. We've seen, I said, you know, take makeup off. To let my skin breathe. She just said the other day. Oh, I'm not going to wear makeup to leave my skin breathe. I told y'all last year about taking y'all to the Halloween store. Halloween store. I don't know, Hugh. I heard somebody saying that tonight about what's up with Ashley. I wasn't for sure what they were talking about. But I agree. We are small, but we are mighty. Um... I think she thinks that I play some almighty character. I don't think I'm better than anyone. I don't think I'm untouchable. I I don't think I'm above criticism. And I think she thinks, just like, remember SGM the one night, he's like, oh, Kaya in her perfect little self, or don't quote me, he said something like, oh, why is Kaya over there or something? I I don't think I'm above everyone, you know, do I learn from my lessons in life? Yes. Has it taken me many years and many times for some of these lessons? Absolutely. Absolutely. But I try to learn from my lessons, you know, and, um, you know, her saying that I shamed as jam. Again, if that's what you want to call, you know, me saying somebody shouldn't drive allegedly under the influence, then so be it. But I don't think I'm better than anyone. They were the ones talking about my house. They were the ones talking about, oh, Kaya, you know, has, you know, done so many, her brain is fried. Okay, fantastic. If, uh, you know. Exactly, American Girl. And I think a lot of us in here, we're very similar. We um, stand up for what we believe in. I don't let people push me over. I don't want people to push you guys over. And I think she sees we are small and we're mighty. And I do think... And I don't try to get under her skin. I really don't. I don't try. I just speak on what I see. You know, just like Kelly, I would do anything for her. You know, I I really would. And Kelly has, you know, messaged me in a time. You guys have messaged, you know, Kaya, things suck. And I'm like, you know what? They'll get better. You know, but we're, we're like a family. We're a community. You know, and I think she sees that. You know, I, I don't think you guys are just people. You know, I if you send me stuff, great. If not, fine. Just being here, just to su subscribe, just a thumbs up. I don't 
I, I don't come on here to get super chats. If I get them, great, but it's not a thing. Yes, Colleen. All right, Joe, I'm going to go pee in the kitchen. Not wipe, drip dry, and I will be back. Exactly, Loco Low. I had SGM's back 100 when a lot of people were coming his way in the beginning. Rolisha, welcome, love. Um, You know, I, I was like, guys, be nice to him, and it bit me in the ass. 2022, there's no such thing as traditional anymore. Online dating is a huge thing. People meet the love that they like online a lot of times. People meet even just people to date online. People meet husbands and wives online. People meet homeless online. Whatever. People meet a lot of different things. People, did people meet scammers online? Yeah, they do. But, you know, they also meet good people online, too. Um, I'm not going to have... Uh, I've decided to just get rid of the Why would people reach out to him and get a life? Well, that's what I've been saying since the dawn of time. That's my whole point. My problem is not that reaction channels talk about me. It's the fact that they need to get a life because they go too far. And YouTube doesn't give a shit about their creators. I didn't understand the buckwheat thing. I called a white person buckwheat, by the way. So how is that racist? <laughs> is it racist if you call a white person buckwheat? I don't know. Hey, Down Under. It's the reaching that gets on my nerves. The Nazi salute, really? Didn't even know what that e that even was. <laughs> it's also friggin' a regular military salute, isn't it? I met my husband of 11 years online. Yeah, exactly. I met BB on like before, that way. Mysticalness, hello. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't even know what it means. Hold on a second, guys. Karen, maybe. Why do people start unnecessary drama? Exactly. Because they're bored. No. I just had to do something off camera. <laughs> they have no life. Yeah, but they complain that I have no life. Like, I clearly have more of a life than you, so... Just even like, even just doing this is more of a life. <laughs> Whatever this is, I don't know. Oh my God, it goes by fast. I was just gonna do like an hour. It's like 48 minutes long. Uh, so yeah, I'm probably just gonna do like shorter lives. Maybe they start drama because they're bored. We shouldn't focus on it though. We've got a lot of positivity here to focus on, yes. <laughs> the Mona Lee fast cats off camera. <laughs> I'm gonna be prim and proper. I'm just joking. The color combo? Really? Thanks, Karen. I'm just... Just threw it on quick. <laughs> just to bees. Just go live when you feel like it. And if you don't, then just don't go live. Exa well, that's basically, like... Sometimes I feel like I just need to, and it's hard... It's hard to, like, make people understand that. But... Look very cozy. Yeah, I am. So would I wear this if it wasn't if I if I wasn't with a man who didn't require it culturally? I don't know. I mean, I do like the the cover feeling. I do. I'm blocking Janet. I can't find her in my block list to unblock. 
If she sends me the link to her channel, maybe. The small ghost, I think so. I think Bria is still Sofa King, yeah. Yeah, I know. I've been looking for her in my new block list. A day in the life of Sam. Okay. Pizza's a guest coming to the new place. Um, for now, I mean, you know, who knows what the future will hold. Um, we're not a couple, so it's expected that I want to... I want to be happy in life. I want to I want to get married and have a husband and I want to live a life with him, I think. And I know that's what I said I never wanted, but no, I think I changed my mind between that, like wanting to get married and not wanting to get married. Love break quick. Faith, remember for 13 months. Hey, that beautiful bitch love. Hi, Faith. <laughs> Ready to read me. Oh my gosh, that's a long time. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Neo Queen, I've watched. Videos of other non-Muslim women trying on hijabs, and they say that it makes them feel more safe. Yeah, I do, especially if I go out. I feel like nobody's gonna enter my bubble or something. You can wear a crocheted hat that looks like a peach. <laughs> Kara, I can't, still can't find Vegas on my block list. It's a, it's a thing with YouTube. I'm telling you, you'd have to like, I swear, you'd have to understand the thing, how it works. With the right person in a financial situation. Um, I'm starting to sound grown up. Thank you, Donner. Hi, Monica. Honestly, he's not a bum, so yeah. Like, meeting somebody who, like, you know, yeah, if you can, if, if it, the, the time is right and everything, I don't know. Maybe someday. We'll see. I don't know. There's so many different options. I think there's even, like, I saw something about, like, a uterus transplant or, like, all different, like, there's surrogates, there's adoption, but that's, like, in the future. Like, I'm not even, it's not something I'm even really thinking about right now. But things change, you know? Hey, King Roy Trauma. Hey, Mimi Pondale. What red flags? There's literally zero red flags. Like, everything that you think is a red flag is a lie from a reaction channel. <laughs> like, they don't know the situation at all. Like the old, like what that he's a foreign person, you know, because people stereotype obviously like because I'm fat, he's foreign that we there must be ulterior motives, and you know like I don't want someone else's uterus. I'd rather have my own, but investment property. Did I ever say? I was gonna buy, I'm buying a property right now. Like, anyway, who even said I was serious about that? Could have been a joke. People just run with everything I say. <laughs> I'm not investing in any property right now. There's no way I'm in any position to do that. I love your life. Please keep doing them. I've been in the hospital since June and they're still company. Thanks, Lulu. <laughs> I just don't know where people even find it acceptable to post his personal effing tinder profile on a youtube public youtube channel for your shitty content like yeah we reported that for privacy so i don't know what's going to happen with that but that's just ridiculous like is that even legal to post a private tinder dating profile like how like are you insane yes you're insane you were literally sick <laughs> like what the hell you're not going to make me mad you're not going to trigger me so it's just keep trying and stay mad you know what i mean yeah okay no he hasn't mentioned property because that's not even a true thing <laughs> he's literally closed all comments on all his videos he hasn't done any videos he has there's like literally no incentive like he hasn't asked me for a dime he has a job like i don't there's no literally no he wants me he does, if he was using me and needed my money how why does he want me to he doesn't want me to why, why am i not doing live streams every day why am I not making money then this way? <laughs> like, excuse me? No, that's not even true. Why does he want, like, like, want me to go there for months at a time and not have to worry about friggin' working? You know, like, get a life. You don't know the situation. You don't know him at all. And the, the fact that you just keep trying to post things inappropriate to try to trigger me just show reflects on you. You're dumb. You're the one doing the privacy complaint. You're the one friggin' being an asshole. You're the one being a stalker, not me. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Well, I'm sure it's a privacy complaint issue, Chantal's red wig. So even if it's not illegal, it's still friggin' wrong and stupid. And you people have the nerve to come for me and say I do immoral things just by beezing when you post people's personal Tinder profiles. And anyway, if that had doxed information, red wig, yeah, it would be illegal, moron. Yeah, it would be. The watcher, no, but I heard it's really good, is it? Reaction channels aren't getting what they want from you, so they're going to make things up. Exactly. They want me to be a failure. Well, guess what? I'm not. I've been watching a serial killer story lately. I'll just, so stay mad. Stay mad. He was active when, Snufkin? When? And where's the proof of this? On the reaction channels? Where? Yes, blocking party incoming. Why are people even stalking his profile? Like, that's so wrong. Like, oh my god. Why do I even have to owe you people an explanation of what happened? Like, it's so insane. But with him, there were actual red flags, Snufkin. That I understand. There's none with Sally. You're making them all up. That's the thing. Shouldn't they still feel icky to screen record and screenshot someone they know nothing about this business and post their stockings online? Yes, they should. And they should be ashamed of that. <laughs> He's not messaging people. It's called Photoshop. It's not real. They are fake. And they're obviously fake, a lot of them. Like, he showed me and told me exactly what happened. Like, he had a Tinder profile. He was looking to meet somebody serious. It doesn't matter if it was from this part of the world or not. Who cares? Like, it still doesn't mean you're not, not going to find someone to freaking love. It's stupid. And anyways, I don't even care. Like, it's... Whatever. It's all false. How do you know they're not fake? How do, you're just blindly trusting them, Snufkin. It's fake because I have proof that it's fake. I have proof that he was not on Tinder. Like, you know... So, yeah. You have nothing but we just listening to the stupid reaction channels. Who have definitely photoshopped things before. <laughs> I know you people want this to be like a thing. You're all waiting for me to be scammed. You're all waiting for me to be romance scammed. It's not going to happen. You just have to stay mad. They're posting. He was on Tinder before Chris Cross. So they're posting his his profile that was active before. It's still it's still not right. Do you not get that, or do I have to explain it or what? But they're coffee first. They're concerned about their believing reaction channels. So why would I want people like that who are not supportive in here? I don't care, Snuff Kim. You've voiced your opinion. Now you can shut the fuck up about it. Invincible Queen B. Welcome to Great British Recipe. And Sally is all those things. You don't know him. You don't know our relationship. You're assuming and you're believing lies. So there you go. Where is your proof? Where is any evidence that I'm being scammed? When I talk to him all day. And I don't have to pay for a single effing thing. A single thing. Where am I being scammed? I could quit my job today and he would take care of me. Where am I being scammed? Where? And he wants me to move in with him like after we're married. So where would he be meeting these people on Tinder? Anyways. He deleted his profile and people are still saying he's active, yes. Where am I being scammed? Oh, cotton candy, here you go. Meh. I'm not really concerned because none of this affects my life. <gasps> oh, gee, you don't say. Fuck G seen so far. I might get into that game. Is it fun, real future? Doesn't mean it's right, crisscross. I know that, like, just defend that. Okay, there, crisscross. That makes sense. I'm not waiting for you to be scammed. I'm hoping that your tall glass of water is your perfect man. I want to see the two of you together. And you will. You know him better than anyone. Truly, what the haters and trolls say doesn't matter. Apparently it does, because this is what people run with. And they ba they judge me as a person based on what these morons say. But you know what? Who cares? <laughs> you know? I'm so, yeah, I'm scamming someone out of love. <laughs> People are getting out of control. Yes, it's very out of control.
Well, I let Patrice out, and she, she, she must have went back to bed. I was gonna show you, all, but oh, she must have jumped back in the bed. Um, yeah, I'm good, Purple. I had to pee, and I was letting Patrice out, and I was gonna show her to you, and I was like, she must have jumped back in the bed, but that's all right. No, no, y'all. I tried to, if I gotta pee, let the dogs out, just do an all-in-one so I don't have to... Nice, Duncan. Um, just let them out when I go pee. It's just all... Just so I don't have to keep breaking. Right, okie do? Yeah, I just... You guys gotta think, Batrus is still, like, a toddler. So I gotta make sure that... Okay, did T-Girl, welcome... Make sure she didn't get into anything. Let her go potty. You guys got to think she's still in the potty training stage. So you really have to stay on them when they're in that age. But I'm like, where the hell would she go? So she must be back in the bed. I was like, well, quick bat break. But so I don't understand why. Oh, no, there she is. I hear her sniffing around. Um, If everything's good. With dude, why is she so defensive? Yeah, guys, if you guys are new, I have a puppy and Tilly, welcome. These are the times now where you've got to make sure they go to the bathroom. She can get up on the couch now, the chair. So you got to kind of make sure, you know, okay, are you doing, you know, because I, I don't want to put her in her playpen while we stream this long. So, you know, I, I. If I go pee, I'll kind of do a quick, is everything good? She is, and she's like a baby. Oh, God, y'all, I hear her. She's getting a drink. But, yeah, so I have to make sure that she's, you know, I'm not going to put her in her playpen while I stream this long. I'm telling you, Ponderous. Well, even though if I would do that, yo, I'm sweaty. Even if I would do that, I still got to make sure they're good. So, if you guys are new to my channel, I got two other dogs, and then I got Batras that's a puppy. So, I'll kind of do an all-in-one. Let the dogs out, me pee if I need to refresh my drink, whatever the case may be. You know, that way I don't have to keep pausing. So, sorry about that. Dyslexic pasta, welcome. I love the way narcissists can warp their own reality. Yeah, I don't understand why... She's so mad. If if everything's so great, why is she so... Sorry, y'all. Why is she so, you know... Angry. She's like, stay mad, you guys. Okay. Right, Iron? Ooh, I love the new thumbnail, Iron. Well, y'all, we might get a... Super shots, welcome. We might get a bat break either way. I'll kind of see what she does, but... She's kind of, I can hear. And gross. And just reflects on them, so. I mean, we're not going to split up based on your stupid freaking crap, so. <clears throat> the haters just want to believe the worst, exactly. No one has evidence. Let's do snack of the day right quick. I need a nibble on some. The haters just want to believe the worst. We're not gullible. We're not... We look out for the red flags. We're not gullible. You know, I like to cross every T, dot every I. Yeah, uh, see where that gotcha. We try to uh, pay attention if there's any signs there. Exactly, Knuckles. Being realistic. Y'all, I'm just drinking water since I had that coffee. I figure I'll just have some water. I don't need a pop with my sweet treat. Oh, this was funny too tonight. Did I miss the part where she's like, why don't you eat um, dessert at your family's thing? She's like, well, they're hungry after and have their dessert, but I'm not hungry for hours after. Okay, Mr eat BB's cake in the car. Remember that era? She's like, they're all, uh, they're all hungry after dinner. BB's cake didn't make it home, so, uh, she's not hungry. 
after dinner, guys, for hours. Okay. Well, whatever you do at your families, you should use that tip at home. You should use that tip at home because you always, dude, what do you, like, get ready tonight. She's like, what can I eat? Right on iron? Okay, y'all, speaking of eat, I gotta be careful. This is a messy boy. Okay. This is, I hope I get it right. I should have screenshotted, but like I said, it was like a feeding frenzy. No, she didn't eat the cake. She ate her piece and his piece on the way home one year from a festivity. Or no, wait a minute. Was she on a diet and was taking the piece for him? Right, Regina? Um, Saren, welcome. Wasn't it, was, wasn't it, she didn't take a piece, for, she was on one of her journeys. And she's like, I ate the cake and didn't make it home to BB. That was her excuse, if you guys are new, I know most of you guys aren't, but her excuse back was then, everything was for BB. Remember, BB ate the pie. I'll show you the pie, Yaba. You guys, how, yes, produce, pies and lies. How pies and lies became why she was on this journey. And she's like, I just got a little Saskatoon berry pie, you know, because for BB. Amy, welcome. So the next day, Yaba, the YouTube underground, was like, I bet that pie didn't make it through the night. And here it was cut all wonky. And uh, she's like, BB ate the pie. BB ate the pie, guys. So you know. So that was her kind of rebuttal back to Yaba. And that's how pies and lies. Y'all, this is messy. Okay, I hope I get this right. This is a pumpkin chai cupcake. Let's just do a little... Man, this thing is beautiful, y'all. You should have seen it before it got smashed. And this is from Whole Foods. So I will say it's very soft. Um, let's take a little to see if it's whipped or just a regular buttercream. Yes, Super Shads. Okay, it is a buttercream, but it's not a super heavy buttercream. So it's pumpkin chai. Yes, that is all frosting. All right, y'all. This is... Let's just keep it real. Let's... Oh, my God. Oh, okay. Well, everybody look at it. Oh, hold on. We got to plug up. Sorry, y'all. It went... Okay, okay. Well, hopefully y'all see. See, you, I'm a whipped icing type of girl. I do like buttercream if it's not super thick. Y'all, this is a messy... Okay, first off to bat, I can show you. It's very fluffy. Um, wow, y'all, this is messy. This is messy, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and take this off and get rid of that. <clears throat> well, I was going to eat it on a plate, but... Yeah, that's why I don't have Batros in here right now. I was going to get bad, and I thought, man, this is too wild to have. All right, y'all, here we go. It's got some kind of crumb. Let's see what this side stuff is. Right, Petty? What is that, show? Okay. It's just, uh, like crumbles of cake around it. Look at my hands already, yo. I should have ate this, then went and peed in the kitchen. All right, y'all, here we go. Okay, y'all, so it is a chai pumpkin from Whole Foods. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Believe it or not, 
I'm sorry, Christy. I don't like listening to people eat either. I apologize, y'all. Um, so, the icing's not as dense as you would think. And it's absolutely stunning. Um, it's not as heavy as it looks. Now, it is sweet. I'm not going to shit your canoe. Um, I get the pumpkin, but I don't get the chai. Donor, it's it's not super dense. I enjoy this. I really do. Um, I like that the icing's not super dense. Um, yeah. I'm with Team Psych Word. I'm Nashies. Um, oh, wow. Nice Nashies. Um, yeah, I don't like hearing people eat either. That's why I'm trying to be respectful. Is it? I always get your name wrong. I'm so sorry. A, a, T, a, a Tisha? Um, it's great. It's absolutely great. But like you guys just said, I've never... Habibi, welcome. Nobody blocked you. Be good. You're still here. Um, I don't mind a troll, but a respectful one. No racism, homophobic, and we're good. I don't mind if y'all be silly. I don't mind. I don't run my chat hard over here. No unaliving. No homophobic. No racism. Respectful things. No crazy cussing. Code words for substances. You can use money signs at, you know, there's ways, but I, I don't mind a good funny. Okay. I love it. Let's get to it. It's It's great. The price point, it's not, um, I think it was $4. I think that it's great. Um, yeah, no, Christy, I'm with you. I just, I don't like a loud chewer and a, a just a messy, um, it's great. For $4, I would totally buy it again. I don't get the chai. That's okay with me. Um, I like it. I think it'd be a beautiful gift. I think you could pick one of these up. Um, they do have whole cakes, whole pies, whole, whole torts. I do like the option that you can buy. Charlie's mom, welcome. You can buy a little variety of things. Um, I'm going to out myself. Last night, I had a little small flourless chocolate tort. It was absolutely stunning. Um, I think their price points. Now, Whole Foods is expensive, but I do think this would be a beautiful gift. You could put a little bow write a lovely card and for four dollars it's beautiful yeah i think for four bucks you can't now they do have mini cupcakes that are smaller but they didn't have this one a mini um i like it i think it's it's a great gift idea uh they have unique things the flourless chocolate tort was absolutely amazing absolutely stunning so if you get a chance you're in a different state a different city and see a whole foods their pastry section has not let me down little tip between each other um no Aldi and Wagmans is kind of like their own it's um it, it's kind of like a uh, I don't know y'all kind of a bougie healthy type deal now again that's not healthy but they have like a salad bar an olive bar um they have a really good deli they have a hot bar but um all right, y'all, here we go, but flower, flowerless chocolate tour, absolutely stunning. It was about this big. It had a little Whole Foods chocolate on it, and it, it was amazing. It had, like, little chocolate around it, little chocolate shavings. Um, flowerless chocolate tour is one of my absolute favorite things. All right, y'all, here we go. Well, it is a scammer. People just base it off of your past guys. Yeah, and what one, not her. <laughs> Look at BB Pete's like none of them were scammers. Okay, time out. Look at BB and Pete's, none of them were scammers. See, I don't have a Wagman's. I do have Aldi. Um Okay. How would Pete's be a scammer? Yes, Essie Cat, it's great. It really is. Um, I don't think any of their pastries I've got have been bad. I did get two chocolate bars that were on sale from there as well. <laughs> Y'all, I, I get a little bit of this and that for us. It's kind of, it's far away. Not far, far away, but when I go up there, it's kind of my chance to splurge. And they have these really cool, expensive chocolate bars, too, for six. 
Okay, welcome, Fat Belly Kid. Okay, so yeah, exactly. That's what Momo, welcome. You're good, Momo. Um, you met Pete's in high school. So how could he have been a scammer? You said yourself that you brought your pillow and other things slowly into BBs. So you kind of, it seems like a thing. Remember, I just need to get in this guy's house, Natter. Odie's specialty selection, dark chocolate covered sea salt caramels are banging. I find great things at Odie as well. Um, that's where I got those dog life jackets I show y'all. The little fish family. Um, they've got really cool house things. So yeah, so you met Pete's in high school. How could he have been a scammer? And then you slowly, yeah, exactly, Unicorn. The whole CPAP thing, you're the one that left. <clears throat> People told you, hey, if you go to Natter's, Nadir's, get your CPAP. You're the one that kept using it as a, Sarah Jane, I don't have a Costco membership. I wish I did. And it's not in my uh, city either. Um, I did time out, you guys, before they sell out again, non-sponsored. I did, I'm going to do in my next haul. I did take that blanket back that I showed you from Nordstrom's. And when I got the package, they were such a great deal. Those blankets that I showed you, the sweater blankets, they came and they're great. They're just a lighter gray than the other one I took back. I thought if I can get two for the price of one, roll it. I think they're going to make amazing Christmas gifts. So, yeah, if you guys are looking for cheap gifts, non-sponsored. Um, I know Nordstrom's is expensive, but you can find cheap things. And always look for free shipping. Join their rewards program. Concern for people, but this feels like a stretch. All made up by reaction channels. We all know he's like a great person. Yes, he is. What is reaction channels <laughs> making up? What is react? I don't understand. What is Reaction Channels making? They said this all feels like a scam made up by Reaction Channels. What is people... Yes, we speculate. We have conspiracies. But what what is made up? I don't care, Snufkin, if you're suspicious because you have no grounds to be. Like, maybe you should examine your, like, prejudices then. Like, why are you... Okay, I wanted to cover this. This was on my list. Maybe you should examine your prejudice. Some. Okay, well, listen here. You and your buckwheat, maybe you should do some research the things that come out of your mouth. Okay? Do I think that you were saying that to a white reaction channel? Absolutely not. Do I, again, as a woman, an older woman, do I say things that I don't know what they mean? Absolutely not. Do I think that buckwheat is something that you can just pull out of your head at the drop of a dime? No, I don't. So you had that on the back burner waiting to say it. Second off, let's get this clear. There is scammers of all sizes, shapes, all cultures, all races. So you saying that somebody's your prejudice -um, that ain't even a word. You talk about me not being able to spell and pronounce things. Well, I'll be the first to tell you. And there are scammers of any... So why are you narrowing it down to people? It sounds like, to me, you're the one narrowing it down. And I'll be damned... Again, I will say this again. I'll be damned if I would let somebody talk to me like this for a penny for free let alone $4.99. I've never seen anything like this. I cannot believe these people pay to get talked to like this. Blows my mind. So, you need to get your prejudice, or whatever the hell you just said. Sounds like you are trying to... Let's see what she just said. Prejudice... It sounds like you are, yes, in any tax bracket, peach cobbler, any shape, anybody can be scammers. Men, women, Batras tries to scam me, yo. Batras tries to scam me for treats. I mean, people, people can be concerned for people, but this feels like a stretch. 
all made up by reaction channel we all know he's my favorite person yes he is well no one cares Snufkin, if you're suspicious because you have no grounds to be like maybe you should examine your like prejudices then like why are you suspicious because your prejudices right exactly mandy your prejudices yeah that's another thing nashi at the beginning of this she's like bbj's um would she say something around for treats do you think the cat maybe wants its own bowl of water and some food? Do you think that's what it could be? Like he's foreign? Like I don't understand, you know, because I was with, like, I don't know. <sighs> Are you kidding me? There's the part I was just saying. That's the new cup you just bought. Where's the cat's bowl at? Listen, this is the part I was just telling y'all. I drank BBJ's water. You gotta be, see, this is the shit that you're like, stay mad. Yeah, I am mad right now. This is the part I'm talking about. That cup has a size like this. And if it's not full, how is the cat going to get to the water? Make it make sense. And you had that setting up there. So if she knocks it over, it's going to hit the computer tower and all those cords you got strung throughout down there. And guess what's going to happen? It's not going to be good because electric and water don't go together. And it didn't sound like the cup was full. So how is that BBJ's water? You just bought that dumb Beetlejuice cup and that's BBJ's new water cup. Are you kidding me? That cup hole is that big. It can't even get its face down in there. And how is it supposed to get the water if it's... Dude, I got water bowls up here. Water bowls downstairs. Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah, Miss Holly. See, this is another thing. Miss Holly was in here the other night. If I, and again, these are only my opinions, anybody can go anywhere they want. I'm not deterring anyone from going anywhere. I'll be damned if, I, I, first off, I wouldn't have went back. See, I'd like to get the fountains, Lisa, but, Sh Lisa, but Sugar Bear has a thing. She would think it was playtime, and so would Batras. There would be, like, let's play water fountain. I put, like, ice in their bowl sometimes, and Sugar Bear will pluck each cube out. <laughs> yeah, Sugar Bear, good night, Claudia. Sugar Bear will pluck each cube out, and then it just turns into a wet mess. So I would love to have the fountains, too, but I think they would think it would be absolute playtime. Batras and Sugar Bear. I think Simon would be cool with it, but Batras and Sugar Bear would just be having a good old time. Thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed. You know, because I was with... Okay, listen. Like, I don't know. I drank BBJ's water. I drank BBJ's water. Nice, Nashies. I drank BBJ's water. Chantal, please don't get any more animals. Please do not. Do not get any more animals. Se excuse me. Seriously. <laughs> Metin was different. Very different. Metin was different, y'all. He was different. <laughs> Metin was just a stupid thing. I don't, I don't even know if I was really serious about that. I'm the one in the relationship, exactly. Until you don't like him, he's okay with me. Well, that won't happen. That won't happen, y'all. Oh no. Taking on sofa for the lasagna and now the love after lockup. Sorry, I have a headache, so I'm kind of just like. He's easy on the eyes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Oh, I have a headache. My best looking boyfriend, Sal. He has for sure. He's her boyfriend, y'all. <laughs> for real.
Yeah, right, Sofa. Yeah, right. I'm just joking. You still haven't pleaded your case, Nuffkin. Why are you suspicious? Let me see, like, she's just totally bringing it up. She's totally bringing it up. Exactly. That's another thing, Unicorn. They don't like their whiskers to touch stuff. Their whisker... Whiskers. Their whisker... Whiskers they use for many senses. So, again, she's, like, picking with one of the VIEs. She's like, you still haven't brought it up. We have a case. Let's hear it. People overly concerned are silly. Yep. Thank you. People were that overly concerned. Exactly, Nashies. People are overly concerned are silly. All right, y'all, Chantal. We'll remember that, you guys. Note it down tonight. People that are overly concerned are silly, guys. I make amazing lasagna. I need to eat something. No, it's definitely not the case, Karen. <laughs> Uh, I've been trying to eat less. She's been trying to eat less, y'all. I'm so happy to be hanging out with you guys. Whenever he's sleeping, I get bored. <laughs> They'll do a sneaky bees. Could be made up. I don't know. Oh, oh, wait, no, 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 no. That is a big deal, Snuffkin. I'm just suspicious due to the Tinder stuff. It could be made up. I don't know. Yes. And no, I haven't known him for less than two weeks. This is the thing. You guys just assume you know everything about my life. That's your mistake. No. Red Pod. I can't wait until you're married and cooling. I didn't say I was doing that. My blood pressure? No, I don't have a blood pressure. I don't know how to use my blood pressure cuff. I don't know where it is. No, I don't read the Quran. Well, I have, like, I shouldn't say no, I don't read the Quran. Um, I am just going through some personal journey with religion and stuff, so. As long, I've known him as long as I need to. Stuff can... Is there, like, a timeline you need to know somebody for? People, person, I know, managers, fix what they provided. What? What are you talking about? Villa managers, what? Of this place? Do you think I give a shit? We're moving out. <laughs> Creepy, creepo, weirdo. Get out of here. Why are people stalkers? Have you met your future in-laws over video chat? <laughs> no. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, why aren't I allowed to... <laughs> ...be happy and want to get married and have a, a, someone to, to take care of me in life, you know? You think I would actually go with a scammer? You people actually, like, your problem is you don't know me. You think that I would actually, like, you know... <laughs> after what I've been through, I can definitely say there's no way... You look like you've lost weight. Thank you. I have been losing weight. I am a girl woman, yeah. And I, I'm specifically looking for... I was specifically... He probably was specifically looking for a type of person. I was specifically looking for a type of person. I'm attracted to Middle Eastern men. Um, you know what I mean? He's interested in you. That's the one red flag. Name one reaction channel that's better. What are you even talking about? <laughs> I'm sorry, but... Again, I'm funny, I'm pretty, I'm not very humble by saying that, but I'm just saying, like, like, how do people, like, seriously, I could name you 10 things why people would want to date me. Mr. Friggin' Married was friggin' hooked, I had to block him everywhere. What, I, so what do I have going for me? Didn't give him a penny, he paid for the friggin' hotels every time. So what, so what, why did he get addicted then? Why are people giving me extra sauces? Hmm? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just saying as an example. <laughs> get extra sauces and drive throughs <laughs> I'm just kidding. Of course I know it's over king, but yeah. 
There's somebody for everybody. I, I don't think so, Baked Wop. I don't know. I haven't talked to them in a while. I blocked like every, every male. <laughs> Just block, 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 so. I know it burns a ribbon. That's subjective. <laughs> you know you love me. Hi, Ren. Oh, hey, Reginald. <laughs> Do they have an Eastside Mario's in Kuwait? Plain cheese, they have a friggin' Shake Shack and a Krispy Kreme. Can you believe this? Well, thanks, Down Under. That's nice of you. That's why I have Beezers. We're invincible. You're stupid. <laughs> I'm pretty sure grifting means you have to give money to someone. <laughs> A Cuba bees? <laughs> It'll be like a <laughs> Kuwait bees. <sighs> so I'm gonna get off soon. Could live it on for a long time. Colleen, I miss you guys too. Strawberry milkshake with malt power from Shake Shack. What? It was boring without me. They're just not used to people being kind and not shallow pieces of the crap like them. Yeah, Karen. Super chat from non members. Oh, Italian Putin. Guys, they have like. The food I love there. Imagine, like, they have koshery, they have everything. <laughs> they, they have the food that she loves there, y'all. They have koshery and everything. Okay, first off, Chantal, of course they're going to have... <laughs> of course they're going to have the food to their culture. And what food don't you like? I don't think... Can anybody... I don't think I can name a food that she doesn't like. Anybody, I, I don't think there's anything that Chantal doesn't like. To the woman that was sitting here, and sorry. To the woman that loves mechanical turkey. Trash boat, welcome. Turkey, mechanical turkey flakes. I'm good. Anything that has mechanical separated, I'm good. I'm good. I love a good chicken salad, but I make it with chicken breast. Boneless, skinless chicken breast. So, oh yeah, she doesn't like sweets. Yeah. Oh, I love mechanically separated turkey. I'm like... All right, y'all. I promise it's about to pick up. This is where shit... Ashley, welcome, love. Welcome, everybody. Hi, Dr. Tiar. Yeah. That, uh, that treatsa, that ice cream pizza thing from Dairy Queen, the treatsa. I'm blocking all now. I'm not paying attention to, attention to gender. <laughs> I'm just... Oh, oh, I did say I'm blocking all males. Oh, in my personal life, yeah. Well, the ones that, are, yeah, I mean, obviously when you get with someone, you block the, the meaningless hookups that mean nothing. Now, you tell me I could be wrong, but look at her eyes right here. You you tell me I could be wrong, but the, the cotton mouth, I don't know on Cut Gems. I've just heard that. I think, what is koshery, you guys? Or I, am I even pronouncing it wrong? Or right? Um, you, you tell me. You tell me. I think, you know, somebody looks a little ripped-y ripped, but, you know, hey, that's just me. Yeah, exactly, trash boat. 
You you tell me. She looks a little through back to me. You don't think so, Colleen? I think so. No, I'm not taking the piercing out. This one is fine, but I'm not going to get more. I thought you loved piercing, Chantal. Why? Why? Uh, Jennifer, I think it's some kind of dish, if I'm not mistaken, y'all. Uh, Purple Mer Mermaid, she said that she wasn't going to deny or... This comes up tonight. She wasn't going to deny or, um... You know, basically pretty much. She wasn't going to deny or say yes or no. That's James Chad. <laughs> Come on, dude. Uh, uh, I don't know, doctor. I really don't know, to be honest. Okay, thank you. Duncan says, it's koshery is an Egyptian dish. Thank you. I had had, I had heard one of them mention it. Yes, our uh, tea girl. Yes, chicken salad can be great with all oh, savory, sweet. Yes, thank you, Angie. Confirm or deny. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Lamb bark. I heard Roman judge me about the hijab. Like, I, I don't like her wearing it. Like, it's disrespectful to the Muslim culture. Yeah, but so is your drinking freaking beer till you get hammered, buddy. So, um, like, this is what I, this is so funny. Okay, so here, get ready. This is, her, her chat is as warped as she is. So, so she says, well, I heard Roman talking about the hijab. So now you're against Roman because he gave his opinion and his thoughts. Okay, Duncan says, pasta, rice, lentils, and a tomato soup. Um, I don't know, Colleen. I think she said she threw it away a while back, but I could be wrong. Okay, so now we don't like Roman. We're against Roman. Now, spoiler alert, so I don't have to pause. And this is what the chat says. Listen to what they say. So, now that Roman is on the hit list and doesn't, you know, he gave his agree or his opinion. So, remember, she was just sticking up for him and being in his live streams. And I'm going to have Roman help me move. Listen what the chat says and she repeats it. You should have set on his bird. You should have set on his bird. Wow. So you you think it's funny that to off somebody's pet per se. And she repeats it and laugh. You should have set on his bird. Mm, okay. And Chantal, you can say what well, nobody no. If you set on that bird, it would definitely not be alive per se. Listen to it coming up. Ridiculous. Chantal, the things that you say and your chat says is... Yeah, exactly, Tish. How modest. Exactly, Nancy. Talking about somebody's pet. This is what I don't get. These, everyone judges me, and they're not any better. Like, at all. No, you judge everyone too, bud. <laughs> Easy, yeah. Oh, I'm just like, what? You should have sat on Kiwi when you had a chance. Oh, and I I know they troll her too, but to repeat that is just, you know, for her to think that shit is funny is is disgusting. You know, granted if I like somebody or I don't, I'm not gonna talk about their pet being unalived. Anyway. Too hello to everyone except so far. <laughs> Holy train. Remember for five months, Frankie Porch Mega King. I love my favorite queen for size bringing my crown. Oh my god. Ray sent me peace. He was 12 Budweiser's deep when he said that. He kept trying to get me to say I didn't agree with you. Oh. <laughs> right? Can you be the nation's shortest HF? <laughs> you probably could, plain cheese. K 
Can you use the Beezer Nation t-shirt as a hijab? So, you, everybody else can joke around about the hijab and... You're taking this real seriously, Bob. No, I don't know who said that. I don't know. Um, can you use the Beezer Nation shirt as a hijab? We're taking this real seriously. Real seriously. And you wonder why people, including Roman, have a uh, problem with you wearing this. Taking everything real seriously, bud, but you're, you're a changed girl. You're a changed girl. Look at the look on her face. Plain cheeseburger said it. She was a flying rat. Emma, I'm not gonna be, but I want to show support from the non-members. I support you from non-members. Get to you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you, Emma. I that Hello. The pervert. Emma, you could have become a member. Oh, the headache, guys. I was thinking of going to four wieners and open a can of black olives, but... Uh-oh. Are there pork in those wieners? Right, donor? Exactly. Are there pork in those wieners, Chantal? That just sounds... I love olives, but open a can... Make a can of olives. I'm trying to think. If I do go to Kuwait, I'm probably going to go for like three months. I know you guys are going to hate me because I'm going to be leaving my cats, but they're going to be well taken care of. Like, really well taken care of. Yeah, because we all seen, you know, how Pete's really, you know, prided himself where his animal ate. Yeah, we all we all see how well uh, his animal station, feeding station, was clean. Because of the visa, is like three months long. And I was thinking of doing like a 90-day reverse visa with my own show instead of TLC. What do you guys think? <laughs> my own show, y'all. What? Anyways, if I do go for a long time, <laughs> thank you. Cats are dead weights, <laughs> No, I know I'm gonna get criticized for that, but I mean, I think you should. Get, you should. Why do you say that, Rusty? You saying that makes me nervous. <laughs> do you guys think it would be good? I think it would be a good, a good experience. I think you know, I had a spiritual awakening in Cuba. Maybe I'll have another one. Leave BBJ. Now, Pete's mom, um, we're going to see. Maybe she'll come and live there with Pete. And she's really, really gentle. And she'll really want to take care of BBJ. BBJ loves people. Did you take too big of a drink? Did you order? Did you I don't understand that. People travel for extended, extended periods. Yeah. Um, <laughs> my cats would make good decor. The travel is going to be a, the flight is like, I'm going to be booking a, an amazing airline. The best airlines this year have been rated, I think, are Qatar Airlines. I think Egypt Air, Delta. I don't think I'm going to go with Air Canada. They don't have great ratings. You can take BBJ. <laughs> she is very loving and she loves people so as long as she's getting attention I don't think she'll miss me specifically um, I will miss them of course I will FaceTime them it won't be forever and I will make sure Pete has meals ready and money con emergency contacts there's going to be a contact for a vet if something happens oh Emirates yes you're right Emirates Emirates and Qatar Airlines were the best ones I think egg allergy hi yeah, Emirates is, is fancy. It's more expensive, but the Middle Eastern... Okay, I was wrong about Kuwait. The Kuwait dinar is the most valuable currency in on the planet right now. So if I want 45 like dinar, I think it's like 44 dinar, I would need to spend like 200 Canadian. <laughs> 
but good thing I don't have to worry. <laughs> but I mean, you know what I mean? Like, I'm still going to need some money, but it's just like, wow. Yeah, I know, but <laughs> I know. <laughs> the thing is, it's like, still, but still, it's like, it's a rich, rich country. I didn't realize that. It's an oil country. First class extra leg room. So, so yeah, like Dubai, Kuwait, they're very like ritzy. They're very like ritzy. Oh, you're gonna fit in great. Sorry, y'all, I gotta plug up. They're very like ritzy, y'all. Dubai and Kuwait are very ritzy, y'all. So, I'm gonna keep it 100 as I always try to. Do I think, for your selfish reasons, everybody good? I had to plug up. Here, I'll go back since we... Do I think, for your selfish reasons, that you should leave your cats all these responsibilities? You buy two cans of cat food at a time. Do I think that it's... I gotta take these out, y'all. It looks crazy with this outfit. Do I think that leaving all this responsibility, these two need to break camp. This is the time. If you're serious about dude, let's just say, and, you know, you're, you're leaving all your responsibilities on him. These two need to just, in my opinion, this is time to break separate ways. Pete's, let's be real here. Are you really going to follow this chick for the rest of your life? Do you ever wonder, you know, is she part of the reason... Your mental health has deteriorated. Exactly, Christy. That was my next thing. Pete's doesn't drive. Loopy, welcome. Are you, Pete's, do you ever, you know, if you come across this, I highly doubt it. Do you not see that your mental health has deteriorated? Do you not think that being around her has maybe possibly made that worse? In my opinion, you were doing a lot better. Foofer, welcome. You were doing a lot better back in the past. So, this guy doesn't drive. Pete's needs exactly. I agree, Rachel. Pete's needs to explore the world and get on his own life. Are you really going to trail and piggyback off her your whole life? You, welcome. It's, it's time for these two to, exactly, he is dwindling away. It, it's time for Pete to spread his wings. It's time for these two to, uh, work trash boot says, but Pete's did his own laundry tonight. And that's what's wild is, he cares about most you know, and I'm not trying to, you know, stereotype, but most women care about a laundry more than, you know, men. Clout goblins, welcome. And I agree, clout goblins. I agree, exactly. But I think these two need to, you know, I, I do need to be Bob. I've got that on the list. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow if things are slow. These two need to split their ways. Did y'all see, was I peeing in the kitchen? or do we, She's talking about, somebody mentions a uterus transfer. They have definitely outgrew each other a long, long time ago. They should have never moved back in. It's time, exactly, donor. It's time for these two to, you are leaving your two cats. You say, allegedly, these people, you said five cats total one day. Welcome throughout the looking eyes. So is it two or three cats the people have? So you're leaving, let's just say two. Your two cats and these people's cats under Pizza's watch. A whole ass house. And then, you know, people are saying that Pete's already turned it down. But let's just say, you're talking about moving his family in. Have you talked to the lease or the landlords? I know most places, they want to know who's all living somewhere. Whether it be an apartment, a house, a shed. They want to know 
yeah, I know it's not a standard operation, but I still, as a homeowner, if I was renting my house to somebody, which, you know, I'm not, I'm just saying I, if I was, I would want to know who's all under this roof. Damages. Something pops off. So you're talking about moving somebody else in that they don't even know about. And then all your responsibilities, somebody that's mentally struggling, they say themselves, and you're going to dump all your responsibilities on Pete's. Ridiculous. Exactly you. Exactly you mad. I just, I'm sorry. I don't think it's right. I don't think you just dump in all these responsibilities. You know, granted she paves the way, but he should be paying his own way. Oh, absolutely, Re. But I, I still think that, um, yeah, and exactly. The homeowners are paying the utilities and housekeeping. I could see somebody, you know, saying, hey, you can use my housekeeper we had. You have to pay them. Um, I have a snow removal if you want their number, but I just, I don't know. Something's fishy, and it is the tuna can. Um, I just think for you to dump all your responsibilities, you know, you got this elderly cat. I, I just think it's wrong. And then the people, you know, exactly Amber Nicole. You know, and, and then saying, you know, the people saying, you know, take the cat on the flight with her. Seriously. Seriously. Take a 20-year-old cat on a plane. That shits its pants in the car because it's not used to going to regular vet vis uh, visits. That's going to work out incredible. Take the cat with you. Yeah, okay. The cat shit all over the car last time because it's not used to regular visits. I take them when I can everywhere with me. It's good for them. That's why Bachelors ain't wilding out right now. They went all on a ride earlier. I had some errands to run. I took them with me. That's why they're chill right now because they're worn out. That way, when I need to take them to the vet, I need to take them if an emergency pops off, I can get them in the car, bingo, bango, no problem. Exactly, Knuckles. Exactly. I take these dogs everywhere with me. Everywhere. Exactly, Cindy. And then it's like, one minute we've got, you know, her rage voice, then the baby voice. Yeah, Emirates is, is fancy. It's more expensive, but... Oh, here's another no, thing. Okay. Time out, time out, time out. I wanted to cover this. So, do we remember Amareth, the, the Twitch streamer that she was so infatuated with and changed her Twitch to Amareth, right? Do we remember that? So, let's keep code words in here, y'all. Amareth is... I don't want to speak a lot on it. I just seen a little bit about it the night before last. Amareth is going through a domestic uh, dispute. And people are like, tonight asking her about, you know, what do you think? She's like, well, what do you want me to say about Amareth? Also, it's, uh, it's okay to, you know, it, it's okay to, you know, want to wanna ride Amareth's ass when, you know, you know, it, it, it's the cool thing to do. I want to be like Amareth, change it to Hammereth. But, uh... Now, she says, what do you want me to say about Amareth? I seen it. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. So, it's, co it's cool to bring up people when, uh... You know, when, when it suits your fancy... But you don't want to speak on it. I was wrong about Kuwait. The Kuwait dinar is the most valuable currency in on the planet right now. You don't know that. Yeah, Rachel K. She alleges she did, but she would be bragging if she sent them out. I highly she bought. Remember the label maker? 
Oh, time out. Let's discuss this right quick. This has been on my list for the last two streams. We forgot. Now, I could be wrong, okay? I could be wrong, okay? I, I could be wrong, but I want you guys' opinion. Exactly trash, but she believes everything everybody tells her. And maybe it is, I don't know. But I want you guys' honest, what do y'all think of this? First off, let's just pretend. I don't think she's going to do it, but let's pretend. She mentioned she's having this big sell, this big giveaway. And the other day she said she's even going to bake cookies, quote unquote. Okay, sure Jan, sure Janice. I don't think, Tweety, welcome. Okay, thank you Tweety. Kuwait dinar, dinar is the most valuable currency in the world due to the country's strong economy. Thank you Tweety. Um, okay, do I think that housing complexes, apartment complexes, I had a family member that lived out of state and they were having a moving cell. They were going to move. And the housing community was like, absolutely not. I forget what it's called. When you have like, you know, when you have like nice houses and they have like a board. What is it called, y'all? But anyways, they were like, absolutely not. We will find you. I do not see the community, her let HMO. Thank you. HMO. Um, I do not. Okay. HOA. Thank you guys. I do not see, even though she lives in an apartment complex, um, I do not see Homeowners Association. Thank you, Chicklets. Thank you, guys. Um, damn it, Danny. Welcome, love. I do not see this apartment complex letting her just open her door to strangers and having a quote-unquote sell. What do you guys think of that? Now, again, I know she lives in an apartment. Yes, let's just pretend, Nikki, though, if it would happen. I don't, I don't think it'll happen either, but let, let's pretend. Oh, exactly, Bebop, and welcome, love. Oh, she'd never make it in it. you got to have your grass trimmed. They're very particular about decorations. But I don't see... Thank you, Foofer. Thank you, love. I do not see them, this apartment complex going for this. Devils, thank you, love. I I don't see it happening. I really, and again, I could be wrong. Yes, damn it, Danny's in here. Um, yeah, I'm just saying she's probably not going to do it. I'll talk, but let's. We like to pretend over here. We like, yes, let's pretend, Mandy. Exactly. Let's let's be in our delusional bubble over here. Do you guys really think apartment complexes are pretty particular? Somebody could walk in, trip over something, sue you. Somebody could, quote unquote, I know you're not going to make cookies, but again, we're pretending. Thank you, devils. And thank you, Foofer. Uh, yeah, exactly, psych ward. The neighbors don't seem too fond of you already. There's no parking. And then what if you baked these cookies, per se? Yes, and you could do like an estate sale, but I, it, I'm i thinking it's depending on the complex if they're going to let you. Nice. Thank you, devils. Thank you, Foofer. Thank you, and thank you guys for just being here. Um, I just don't see it happening. So here's another thing. Um, no, no, regular cookies, huge ass. Huge, huge ass. Um, what if somebody like me I would never do this, but you know, the world is a strange place. Let's just play pretend. We're already playing. Here, let me get out the wing. What if somebody like me, she bakes these cookies. Damn it, y'all, this damn handle keeps. Come on, Pier One. You and your expensive ass test. Look at this, y'all. This damn desk was an arm and a leg. Okay. You were going where I was going, Peach Cobbler. What if somebody fell down the steps? What if somebody tripped over something? 
What if you made cookies and somebody like me that's highly allergic to cats and had an allergic reaction to eating a cat here or something? These are all what ifs you don't think about. Somebody could sue you. Again, I would never do this, but I'm saying, you know, people are always looking for a come up. She could say, oh, well, I'm a YouTuber and I'm moving and that's why I'm having the sale. And they're like, ding, 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 money, money. Jason, welcome. Exactly. She has to be the liability, not the management. And I get that. But some complexes don't. She probably hasn't even checked. Can she have the sale? She probably hasn't even thought of that. Yeah, that's another Saren. Did the new owners of the mansion know about Baby Beats? But I don't see this complex. You know, it's not the bougiest complex. The neighbor's already talking about the parking. She's mentioned numerous times that there's nowhere to park. I just don't see this complex going for it. I, I, I honestly, I don't see. Yeah. Complexes make you sign off. Your guests won't sue if they slip on ice. Yeah, there, there's... I, I don't know, Christy. There's places that I was lived in that I was not allowed to have yard sales outside. So, I'm just saying. I bet she hasn't even checked. Again, I don't think she'll do this. Um, But these are all things that, you know, she doesn't go over. Oh, that, yeah. And that's another thing, Nashies. Pete's is the lease on the villa. I don't know, not Peach Cobbler. See, Peach Cobbler says no different than hosting a party. Um, you're collecting money. You're collecting money. I don't know. I just wanted y'all's opinions. I just wanted... I, I don't personally, you know, again, I don't live, you know, in her complex. Um, but... Damn, y'all, that cut the shit out. Um, I don't see her complex going for it. But again, you know, she hasn't even thought about checking. You know, it's just Chantal's world. And uh, and that's the thing, you Jess. Yeah. Yeah, people could go there intentionally to try and get insurance money. Absolutely. Somebody tripped and fell. Yeah. And other things, Team Psych Ward, if the neighbors complained about the traffic in and out, yeah. There's already, she mentioned, trouble parking. I I just don't see, I don't see her complex going for it. I don't think she'll let random in there. I don't know, turn the page. I'm just going by what her plan was. That she's going to have this cell and people, anybody can come get stuff. I'm just throwing out the bat signal what she said. I think so too, Nancy. I think she's... Because somebody tonight asked, are you going to do a last tour of the place? And she's like, no, no. I think she's just going to nitpick, take a couple things, and everything will stay. Exactly. Bella says, our HOA is so picky... We can't put up garage signs from Home Depot. You have to buy or rent an official sign from the HOA. And the HOA security patrols on the weekends and rip down unapproved signs. Yeah, and like I said, I know it's not a house, guys. It's an apartment. But she just doesn't understand that there's so many liabilities. Just just put Sierra. Welcome. Great to see you, love. Um... Put the stuff, like you said, put it on Kijiji, one of you, like one of you just said, put the stuff in a donation thing and be done with it. Do you think, Chantal, people are really going to come dig through your used makeup? Let's be serious here. Again, that's another health scam. If somebody, you know, I bought this eyeshadow when I got pink eye. You know... Here's a pile of clothes. Go through it. Uh, you really want your crustaceans hanging around? Let's be real. Let's be real. 
I hope she does have the cell. I think it'll be great. I hope, I, exactly, Nikki. I hope she has the cell. I really hope she does. Leanne, welcome. Yeah, no, no, Leanne. We're just talking. We know there's no HOAs in apartment complexes. But you do have the apartment management. And I just don't see... Like I said, her apartment's not the most bougie thing. But, um... Right, damn it, Danny? Sign me up for somebody's used nose-picking eyeshadow. Um, I just don't see the the management of her complex going for it. There's not a bunch of parking... So if I want 45, like, dinar, I think it's, like, 44 dinar, I would need to spend, like, 200 Canadian. <laughs> but Exactly, you mad bro. Tonight, she's, like, stuck to one place, I noticed. Yeah, yeah, and that's the thing, Leanne. But to have them inside of your house... Yeah, I'm not saying that yard sales and garage, they're encouraged everywhere. Hell yeah. You know, don't throw it on the landfill, but inside of apartments, I just, I'm in the U.S. I just, I don't know, man. I think each would, would vary. If you have people coming into your house, I just, I don't know. But hey, who am I? Leanne says, yes, okay, is inside. Interesting. Well, we'll see. I hope she has the cell either way. I I, I hope, I, I love to see. I want somebody to buy her an old spatula for 20 cents. Absolutely. Sorry. <laughs> but I mean, you know what I mean? Like, I'm still going to need some money, but it's just like, wow. Yeah, I know, but <laughs> the thing is, is like, still, but still, it's like, Exactly, Jason. I didn't realize that. Oh, exactly, Leanne. And did you hear this? I'm still going to need some money. She really has it. Really has it that this guy is going to take care of her. Listen, I'm still going to need some money. Right, doctor? <laughs> but I mean, you know what I mean? Like, I'm still going to need some money, but it's just like, wow. Yeah, I know, but <laughs> the thing is, is like, still... But so it's like it's a rich, rich country. What's that, that got to do with you, bud? First class, extra leg room. So so yeah, like Dubai, Kuwait—they're very like ritzy. Oh, you're gonna fit in great. Oh yeah. Anyway, I think it'll be super cool. <laughs> yes, plain cheese. Please do not let David and Richard Patchy sit on camera. What? Light room is not the issue. <laughs> we need super <fupa> room. <laughs> no, we need yeah, more body room. We need some Beezer's oil. I don't have to stay three months, so I don't have to. I can I can stay that long, I guess. But we'll see. Everything is up in the air, so you guys will know once I do finally do decide on everything. Um uh, yeah, long international flights. <laughs> no. I don't know, Rhonda. I guess that would be the thing. So, so a complimentary barbecue. I <laughs> come home to. Wrong trip. Get the okay from your doctor. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> yeah, no, everything, you know. Enough meds, yeah. As I can get a doctor script though, apparently, I think. The flight is like I don't even know. I think um seventeen I don't know, there's like a connecting flight or something. I don't know. I have to, I have to check. Oh, you guys, I'll tell you all that. It's a long, 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 long flight. Ransack BBJ's gabapentin. Oh my god. My boyfriend's dad is in the UAE, but I guess that's too far to escape. No, it's only like two hours away, come point do. 
Oh, I deleted it. Lambo. <laughs> it's a pig. That's why I broke it. Me, I'm moderating. I think I can't, I don't know. <laughs> I guess like he's just been staying out of out of it. I think he's been pretty good. He hasn't been reacting at all. He just closed all his comments, everything like doesn't answer people's messages at all. Yes. <laughs> the queen is moderating. That's me. Yes. Yeah, I mean, so loud, Mod, yeah. I know it seems like very fast and everything for everybody, but I, yeah, I'm sure he'll come in sometime, so far. I just don't want any drama with anybody, like, I don't know. I feel like <laughs> nobody understands what the, the stream world is like fully, you know, um, <laughs> we understand, but... No, he had a reason to block a lot of people. He doesn't want to see people like... I guess he doesn't understand the trolling maybe like that I have going on in my chat either. <laughs> the trolling is bad. It was really bad at one point. It's sickening. Sometimes. What? What do you mean? Do you guys like me with no makeup? You guys like her with no makeup. So she has let her chat run wild. Crab apples, welcome. It's all good. She has let her chat run wild for the last year. Sorry, I got some broccoli and ranch and a little meat and cheese stick. So exactly, chicklets. So. She wants to hang out <clears throat> and stream while he's asleep, exactly, so he doesn't mod. And second off, take a breath, welcome, exactly, Trash Boat. She's got makeup on, y'all. You got makeup on, bud. Again, I don't know if it's from today, a week ago. You clearly have makeup on, so I don't know what you're talking about. Gee, welcome. <laughs> Bat is doing pretty good. Knock on wood. She she went on a car ride earlier, so um she she's doing pretty good, knock on wood. Now I'm kinda scared. She's been a sleep off and on, so she'll probably turn up when I'm ready to sleep, but Exactly, Leanne. Welcome, everybody. Thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed. Oh, yeah. Some people don't get the joking part. <laughs> Gee, you know it. I'm scared. She is going to turn up. When are people, people, people going to realize I don't speak douche bag? Oh, my God. <laughs> you know what I mean? That is okay. Just... No, we don't know what you mean. <clears throat> Excuse me. And second off, when are people going to learn you don't speak douche bag? Chantal, that is like... It's not even funny, dude. It's lame. Her, her insults are... You know what I mean, yo? I have someone defend you. I have my sword in hand. <laughs> That's the right, that he was just defending me, exactly. What was wrong with the Holy Trinity being Moses' sword? No, please, Chief. It's just, uh, I don't know. I think it's just less drama to just have, like, nobody, you know? Well, him because you know why. <laughs> oh, thanks, Holden Girl. I swear these people who send super chats didn't graduate elementary school. <laughs> Clearly. Yes, I'm shaming you. Deal with it. I will tell him. And since YouTube doesn't care. 
Don't tell him I'm going in commando. Oh, he doesn't block me for saying underwear. <laughs> yes. Yeah, he's he's a conser more conservative. Like, I know this is the, I know this is the joke, and I know this is why you guys are trying to do compilations so he can see how gross I was. Like, okay, he knows. Like, <laughs> all he has to do is look around not very far. Yes, I was the messiest person. So what? I guess I was the messiest, guys. Was. Close attention to was. I was the messiest person. Oh, you're you're a changed woman, Chantal. She was the messiest, y'all. Life moves forward. Like, I'm not ashamed of who I was. Like, look at me. Do I look ashamed? You're, uh, you're keeping a real close thing. The last time you screamed, you was like, I hope the camera doesn't follow me. UK, welcome, love. Why are you worried if the camera was following you if everything was clean? Interesting. Me and me do not dread. <laughs> Welcome to the Empire Media Generation. Me. They can apologize to me for calling me a moron. Sorry. Tasty mouth gummies. Yeah, I need some water. I've been talking without any friggin'. I kind of want to go eat something. I'm going to ask Pete to get me some stuff. Okay, get ready. This is great, y'all. This is great. So Pete's literally says, I brought up two crushes and she's like, that's it? Get ready for the list. Exactly produce, not pills. Get ready for the list that she wants him to bring up. This is great, y'all. And he says, I brought up two sodas for myself. Get ready. This list is spectacular. So you are losing weight, quote unquote, and eating better, but you can't go downstairs to get your own food. Get ready, y'all. And then has enough nerve to say, there's not enough cheese on this. The little ghost is here. Koopa's right about what? So let's replace the Holy Trinity. Okay, I'm sorry. You're not sorry. <laughs> well, Fupa, I'm not going to deny that, per se. I am. St I was struggling with it. Maybe. I'm not going to deny or confirm. But, no, my goal is... Exactly, Mrs. Haversom. And this is the part... This is the part where she talks about the gummies and the chivas. She's not going to confirm or deny wheelchair bees anymore because it's it's really it doesn't make me feel too good i need to hydrate i think you're gonna see green day you're gonna see green day i'm so jealous are they gonna do a dookie i declare i don't care no more I'm growing up and out and growing boy in my smoked up boring room I smoke. It's legal. I hate it. It makes me feel bad, but it helps. Yeah. Okay, did y'all catch that? I smoke. It makes me feel bad, but it's legal. But it helps. Okay, that, that makes a lot of sense. Yes to me. That's what I feel like I need to do with a lot of things. Not confirming nor denying. <laughs> certain things, you know, let people guess, I guess, but then I get annoyed by their theories because they're so dumb. They're not even clever. Well, so are yours. <sighs> we really want a can of olives right now. I live inside the central cave. Throw my emotions in the grave. I who need them anyway. I'm not going up. Does he watch sports? I don't know playing cheese. I don't think so. Maybe. Maybe soccer. I'm not sure. <laughs> Should I go, should I make a can of olives? Shoot. Look at her right now. Should I? 
I didn't know you guys. Should I make a can of olives? I didn't know you could make a can of olives, but all right. You go you go make yourself a can of, or excuse me. Beets will make a can of olives for you. Good in your today. Okay, check that out. She says I made I had paneer today. But then earlier said she had bourbon chicken or something. So she ordered twice. You don't paneer every single day. <clears throat> I'm sorry I'm that friend who has a new man and now I'd ignore you this. I'm kidding. Not for that. You're not kidding. You're gonna have a grilled cheese. <clears throat> He's probably a soccer fan. Yeah, maybe. No, I don't know every single thing about him. It's not like we've been together for years and years. I thought you knew everything. So you you literally have talked about investment properties, but you don't have to like sports. Interesting. <laughs> PUBG sponsors the pub Stop with the PUBG. Is it a fun game? What, Christian? What? Oh my god, I banned basic basic. What the hell? So so that just shows you there again. Let's let's add it into our opinions. Well, mine. I blocked basic basic. I don't even know. But your people are so mean so much to you. And you care about them. Come again? Oh, I blocked basic basic. And then she talks about, oh, I still can't find Vegas on my block list. Dude, I went and unblocked somebody tonight. Is your list so big you don't want to take the time to look through? And I think, in my opinion, I don't want to speak for Vegas, but uh, I think Vegas is probably broke camp at this point, bud. It's been like a month, month and a half. Uh... I, I don't think I'd be beating down your door to uh, hang out, give you my money. If you couldn't, you know, I don't make you guys pay to hang out over here. And I made sure tonight, before I got on stream, that I made sure hair was unblocked. Oh, Bebop, she'll have him do it. She can't, Captain Taxes. How did I ban basic basic? They <laughs> oh my god, no. I don't remember. Did I? I'm gonna ask him about football. No, you won't, so far, will you? <laughs> I banned work reality. People were being rude. Exactly, Tony. I gave them a rebate. Who? Did I put basic basic? I don't know. Why don't you go check? Why don't you go check and see? And look, it's funny. Look, 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 look. This is exactly what I was talking about in the beginning. She's like, <laughs> sorry, I was thinking about my meat and cheese stick. Sorry. Did I block basic basic? <laughs> well, I don't know when. <laughs> But you care about your people. Tell me again. So it's funny. It's funny. So people being blocked, giving you their money, and being blocked, that's funny. And you wonder why I say that you don't care. Look, we are total. Look at the smirk on her face. Look at the smirk when she's like, I blocked him. <laughs> Real funny. Real funny. We're gonna go back. Beezers, let's let's do a little here. We're gonna we're gonna entertain ourselves with a little snow slow mode right quick. Hold on, y'all. No, I don't know every single thing about him. It's not like we've been together for years and years. 
<laughs> PUBG sponsors the fuck. Stop with the PUBG. Is it a fun game? What, Kristen? What? Oh my god, I banned basic base. Okay, here we go. So, Beezers, this is what she thinks, you little buddies. Here you go. Here you go. <laughs> oh, jeez, sponsors the stuff. Stop with the PUBG. Is it a fun game? What, Christian? What? Oh my god, I banned basic basic. What the hell? You bees to her. How do I ban basic basic? Basic. <laughs> oh my god, no. I don't remember. Did I? I'm gonna ask him about football. No, you won't, so far, will you? Why can he not ask him about football? What's so wrong with that? So there you go, Beezers. That's what she thinks. I block basic basic. <laughs> I've been work reality. People were being rude. Uh, Colleen gave them a rebate. Ew. Did I block basic basic? She thinks it's great, y'all. I don't want people to be mean to my, my new... My love, the love of my life, that's why I bought this. <laughs> I'm not growing up, I'm just putting it. I know. I know, so, but so is Julia Rockford. Not really a fan, but I have to tell you, go check FFG last bid. There was a viral TikTok on her, and people are coming on her video outing her. It's amazing. She's being beautiful. Just tell you of my respect. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dandy. Outing for what? That sounds like the start of a horror movie. Tyler. No, um, that wasn't him. Was that Ann Winifred Perkins landline? <laughs> It's Park, not Perkins. <laughs> oh, sorry, Colleen. <laughs> it's ageism, isn't it, really? Isn't it really ageism? Yeah. It, no, it's not ageism, lady. Okay? Because you don't look like you're a human the age. You look like you're a Methuselah. Alright? Has nothing to do with it. The reason you look like you... The reason you look like an aging painting in an attic somewhere is because you're miserable. That's why. Sorry. Oh, my brain. Oh. Sorry, Tara. Oh. Vivi and chill. Would you kiss Pokemon? They gave you flowers and breadsticks in Olive Garden? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I love one man only. <laughs> My egg first one? What tea? What tea, Ruby? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Papa Prince 
said no. <laughs> Seriously, who the F is that Anne lady? She's weird. I guess wisdom doesn't come with age for everyone after all. <laughs> I know, she's sitting there. Okay, so check this out. I found this part interesting. She's like, what up? She's talking about Miss Anne, of course. Bowl of cherries. Good night, bro. Bowl of cherries. Uh, Miss Anne that I mentioned. Right, Lady Lithium? She's like, what other British insults can we come up with? Or excuse me, British stereotypes. Francis, welcome, love. What other British stereotypes? Chantal, respect your elders. Now, there's a difference between standing up for yourself and just being completely disrespectful. But let's hear it. So we're going to hear this and then we're going to skip. Well, I want to hear, I want you to hear the Shannon part. So she's talking about Miss Anne right here. So get ready. So, of course, Chantal, you can't come up with anything but the way somebody talks. And wait a minute. Let's, oh, wait a minute. Would that be culture shaming? I just thought of that. Would that be culture shaming? Would that be culture shaming when you're talking about the way so somebody calling him salad was racist to you? But you talking about a way a British person talks, Hawaiian, welcome love, would that be a little racist per se? Hmm. What's, what's good for the goose isn't good for the gandy. And I still am going to say the buckwheat thing was a racist. Welcome, Polly B. I'm still going to say the buckwheat thing was in a racist derogatory manner. Yes, I am. And I will stand by that. Do I think that she meant that towards white creators? Absolutely not. You know that she's going to pray five times a day and you don't wash. You well, first off, you don't wash and you've said this yourself. You don't wash. You take a four minute shower. It takes me four minutes to two minutes to wash my hair, brush my teeth, Shave the pits, wash the tits. And do I think that you can properly shower being a bigger woman and wash all your bits and bobs? And again, I had my aunt that was bigger. I don't think you can properly clean yourself in four minutes. No, I don't. No, I don't. Pegasus, welcome, love. I don't know what to think, Pegasus. Do I think around the 22nd things will get fishy? I, I still i am going to die on this hill. I still think, and this is again my opinion, I still, and again, only my opinion, I still think that she has to pay Natter out. I will die on that hill out of all the beef they've had, and they've never struck each other. A little fishy to me. Need some Z's. Welcome. I still think when she had big amounts of money, she would always wander away around payday. I will still rest on that hill that I do think her channel is attached to his. If you can't stand him and you wanted him going, you've struck all sorts of people. So has he. He struck me. But, you guys have never struck each other. I find that highly interesting. You're, you're very, very, um, good night, Leanda. You're, you're very, you know, and, and impulsive. Didn't even strike him and take it away. I still will rest on that hill. I still think that she has to pay him out. I do. And again, these are only my opinions. I, I still think you notice she would go get big copious amounts of money around that time. She would wander up there. I, I still think that she won't strike him because it's part of her mix. Talking about Pete's spilled the beans and said, when? 
Remember when Pete said, I can't have a channel under Sean Toll's natter is. I do not think he slipped up and just made that up. I still do not think that. Do I think she carries big amounts of cash to give to the homeless and the needy? Absolutely not. Right, doctor? Me either. Pete's didn't just come up with that, I don't think. Do you even know what you're even talking about anymore? Or... And everyone is just going, oh, yes, she makes so much sense for her. No, she doesn't. Really. Where? I saw seen a series of egg fart shorts. Nice gloating. T-Dub, welcome. <laughs> Uh, Patty, I think he's laying low. I think with all the big channels. Okay. Can you imagine dating somebody and being like, have they seen your shorts clips about egg farts? Exactly, Dr. Pete sprinkles a little bit of truth here and there. I don't, I don't think he just made that up out of nowhere. Okay. She's like, yeah. Yeah, he's seen the videos, but no, I don't think, I think Buddy's probably, like, and just saying has been making, I think that's who she was mentioned tonight. I see you guys making clips of the old me. Remember she said, I'm not afraid of the person I was. Just saying has been making, and when he all cracked me up, when he all was like, just saying should have called it 50 Shades of Filth. I was like, that is fantastic. So here, so you always take it back to this. You can't ever come up with something clever. You have to talk about Miss Anne's age. Once again, something that nobody has control over. Oh, now nah, she's, wait, I got a plan. I got a, I got a new song idea that's fantastic. And, and I think Sala will love this song as well. So, Miss Anne has nothing to do with her age. And let me tell you, you talking about Miss Anne's teeth and the way she talks, honey, let's get technical. And no, I don't have the greatest teeth myself. But your teeth are not in tip-top shape either, foodie. So the things that you come at people about, talking about Miss Anne talks like this, um, come again. Because your teeth aren't the greatest either. And exactly not a gamer. To be that age and have her teeth, her real teeth, is fantastic. Exactly, Saren. I agree. Miss Anne didn't want to... Um, she didn't like what Chantal had to say. Second off, Chantal, you still have your baby teeth. Why did your family not take you to the dentist and say, why does she still have her baby teeth? Where are her other teeth? Your jaw clicks. I do believe, in my opinion, your jaw clicks because it's been working overtime all of its life. And exactly not a gamer. Sean told the things you come up with are not things. Good night, Ponderous. Thank you, love. I think so too, Donner. <laughs> She's so seething about it too. Yeah, disgusting. I'm disgusting. Oh, I guess you better go watch friggin' Three's Company then. Coronation Street's on, lady. <laughs> what other British stereotype? Here was what other British British stereotype can she come across? So, Chantal, not only are you. Uh, you know, you have to, uh, you know, do you ever think that you might be offending your viewers from the UK? But listen, this is the part. What other British stereotypes? So you don't like it when people, you know, call in your dude salad, which I think it's silly that you, but let's, let's hear what you have to say. Let's, let's hear what you have to say. Go watch for getting three's company then. Coronation Street's on, lady. Oh, you're hilarious. What other British stereotypes can we throw her way? 
What other British stereotypes? So you can't just talk about her. You have to bring it all into a British thing. Chantal, I find that a bit racist, my friend. I think it's kind of a pot cold kettle situation. I'm surprised anyone that age has any interest in this YouTube channel. Are you kidding? Why would anyone proper want to watch me? Of course you're going to be disgusted, Winifred. Your name is Winifred. You think you're going to watch me and not be disgusted? Absolutely rubbish. She's the absolute rubbish lady. That woman needs to go bake cookies. <laughs> Biscuits. Knickers. Get your knickers out of a bunch. I am with... so glad that you are cracking yourself up because none of this is funny. It's cringe if you want to be serious. Like, go bake some cookies. Ooh. Go bake some cookies, y'all. Ooh. That's quite a banger there. That's that's quite a yeah, I seen that Leanne. She was like, and and her sheets, uh well, Miss Ann's sheets were nice, crispy, and clean. They look like the me. Honey, Chantal couldn't have some white or cream sheets ever. Chantal been rocking nudes, welcome. Chantal been rocking the same sheets because the chat got on her ass about changing the sheets. Mad Hatter, welcome. Yeah, Mad Hatter, she's like, ah, go watch Three's Company. <laughs> uh, not laughing, Chantal, but I'm glad you're making yourself. And uh, you're being a little racist. Yes, absolutely, Leanne. Absolutely. Chantal could not rock no white or cream sheets. She been, her chat got on her ass. Wow, I didn't know that. Wow. Yeah, I like Miss Anne. I, I feel like, I, I mean, Chantal doesn't miss a beat on channels, let's be real. But I feel bad for bringing up Miss Anne because I think that's where Foodie, dude, I love Three's Company, right, Julie? Um, I feel like I'm the one that guided her more to Miss Ann. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Uncut Gems. Go bake cookies. Ooh. And listen what she says. The chat's like, I don't feel right making fun of elders. Listen, listen to the true, you know, pure evilness come out. She's like, well, I do. I do. I, I do. Well, yeah, we know you do. Nobody's off limits. You just, somebody said, set on Roman's bird and you thought it was fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. I, I get it. You're, you're, you, uh, you don't give a shit. We know. Um, I didn't know just that just shit. <laughs> Tara. <laughs> I think her name is Winifred. I don't know. <laughs> She looks exactly uncanny resemblance to Reverend Kane from Poltergeist. Uncanny. Fit and curvy. Welcome, love. John Ritter. Oh, yeah. Rest in peace. Huh? Right, Bella? Go bake some cookies. Oh, one, two, three. Oh. I had one, two, three, four viewers. The lady from Fried Green Tomatoes. I don't like mocking elderly people. I do. <laughs> wow. I do. Chantal is just, you know, I'm going to say it. She ain't fooling on me. <laughs> she is not fooling me at all. Yeah, exactly, Uncut Gems, about FFG's dogs. Absolutely, and thank you, Uncut Gems. Um, Chantal is the same Chantal. <clears throat> Excuse me. A little raspy. Yo. Chantal is the same Chantal. She's going to be the same Chantal as you love that I say it that way, her and S Jam. Every time they say that, they're talking about how I say it. Um, 
Chantal is never going to change. She's going to be, she can put on a fake, she can put on a front, she can put on a hijab. It's the same character. Exactly, Duncan. She's, she's been this way, exactly fit and curvy. She posted about OnlyFans the day of her grandmother died. Wow. I didn't know. Wow. Yeah. Remember she was holding up Nashville chicken sandwiches in the hospital? See, guys, I got the sandwich. You told me I wouldn't keep it. So you were there. Remember? Oh, yeah. And remember, too, she was like bugging her mom. What are we going to eat? And remember, I was like, oh, absolutely, Ashley. Remember, she's like, what are we going to eat, Mom? I'm like, dude, leave your mom alone. You should have brung her something. Anybody who was at the hospital, your sister, your mother, your uncle, Funkle, you should have brought them something to eat. Not took your ass up there. And what are we going to eat, guys? This is where she starts to get... Yeah, exactly, Nashville. This is where shit starts to go left. Sorry, y'all. This, this is where things go left real quick. What is going on, y'all? Am I on a cord? What am I doing? This is when things go, like I said, this is when she really starts to crank it up. This is when she starts talking about Shannon, and this is when things start to crank up. No problem calling me a 500-pound sow. I have zero sympathy. <laughs> anyway, we're not being that mean. Like she said, knows she's being mean. We're not being that mean. Or I understand God's gift, but it's not about being elderly. It's about being an old friggin' witch. Wow. I mean, had to throw that old in there, Sean. Told didn't didn't. Look like that. Like I have a feeling being miserable ages you in ways wow. you wouldn't even comprehend. You know. I think Miss Ann looks great for her age. I'm gonna be honest with you. She's old, not dead. She can dish it. She can take it. Chantal, if you, if you make it, in my opinion, I would love to look to see what you look like in your 70s. Because you already look... Look at the look on her face, dude. She's just mean. And I'm not trying to be mean. I'm saying she has a lot of health problems. I'm not trying to... Exactly. You know? I don't know. Anyway, I should probably get off of here. Yeah, and it is I do watch Doug Burner. Do you? Medusa. Medusa. <laughs> it is Winifred, I told you. <laughs> Are you going to be able to burp and fart in Kuwait? I don't know. Uh, am I going to be arrested for friggin' burping? <laughs> Lambo! Uh-oh, Jess, when the fridge... Oh, no. Uh, did her mom pass away? I didn't know that. I don't think so. Did I? Yeah. Hi everybody, I did laundry today. Be proud of me. Can you I, I wanted you to get me a drink from downstairs. Oh, sure. Oh wait, 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 wait. Actually, well like, before you go, take this with you, wait. <coughs> Hold on guys. Can you do you know how to use the electric fan over there? Uh probably. Um, do you have any questions left? Yeah, two left. Only two. I'd rather have two for myself and the rest of the for a mixed couple hours. Okay, I'll have one and a soda water, please. Yeah. And olives. And, um... Um... Dude, get ready. This is great. Sala, this is your chick. Okay. <clears throat> 
Checking on mattress. Okay, so when they talked about somebody I was watching this live, somebody was like, she looks like Dee Dee's mother brought up from the dead. Wow. So you're going to bring up somebody no way did she ask him if he knew how to use an electric can opener we got to go back yeah so if he doesn't know how to use an electric can opener how's he been opening the cat food let's go back good call ashley yeah how's he going to open the cat food and how has he been okay Dee, Dee fair game she's been on youtube why bring her mother up and second off how do you know her mother hasn't passed away Still in contact? Mm. She's like, I don't think so. How do you know her mother hasn't passed away? I don't know, Kelly. That could be true. How the hell, just even if they do have the lift lid cans, does a grown-ass man not know how to work an electric can opener? Are you serious? Tendies, that could be true. Okay. <laughs> Only two. I brought up two. So she says only two. He says he brought up two pops for himself. And she says only two. Well, I'll take one. <laughs> I don't for next couple hours. Okay, I'll have one and a soda water, please. Yeah. And olives. And, um, <laughs> um, can I have a plate of nachos? Okay, so we've got a soda water, one of his sodas, the can of nachos. Exactly, Duncan. So we've got a soda water, one of his sodas, the olives that, remember, she's got to make, and a plate of nachos. Yeah. So she's just <laughs> shucking the cat. Wait, she just shucking the, shucking the cat some treats. Another bag of cheese? Okay, no, I, the other one I finished it. <laughs> I finish the other bag of cheese. Is there another bag of cheese? I finish the other one. Uncut Jim y'all said, check out Knock Knock It's Karma's video. So she's already finished out. Okay, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I just thought of something. I thought the groceries didn't come the other night. You were putting a complaint in. Did we get some new groceries or did those mysteriously show up? Remember, y'all, the groceries didn't show up? She was putting in a complaint last stream. Now we've got cheese, y'all. And she's already finished off one bag. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Virgie, welcome, love. Thumbs up, y'all. Make sure you're still subscribed. Welcome, everybody, chilling in here and in the background. Listen what he says. Yeah, I'm, taking, I'm using your bag of okay. chips. Okay. I'm using your bag of chips. So did she already knock off some of his bag? I'm using your bag of chips. You're a cheese bean. Absolute bean. Who's a cheese bean? I'm not. No, I'm not. You are. My bossy. My bossy. What? Oh, now we're getting a tripod. Makes sense. Now we're getting a tripod. Am I bossy, yo? And here's the other thing. Did y'all catch the phone ring earlier? Did you catch the phone ring? She couldn't look up what buckwheat meant the other day, you guys, because she was on her phone, remember? And even somebody in her chat called her out and said, where's your other phone at? So it's convenient to have two phones when we want to.
when we want to order. But when we want to look up if somebody says something's racist, we don't have, we don't have another phone. Exactly. Exactly, Trash Boat. She said, Trash Boat said, she said buckwheat's plural, and then tonight she says it was one white person. She knew what she was doing. So the phone rings tonight, and then when you were supposed to look up buckwheats, now it magically is gone. All right, cool. And then these mysterious groceries that never showed up, now we already ate. Now we already ate a uh, bag of cheese already. Interesting. <laughs> I'm skipping or making this part fast, y'all. Well, maybe not. So we're rock and rolling. We're ready for a feeding frenzy at the desk. Sorry, just let me in. Let her get prim and proper, y'all. Right, Sorry. Jason? <coughs> Hold on, guys. Um. Look, she's like... Two minutes. <laughs> um, what did you say to tell Pete? What? What are you talking about? <laughs> Don't laugh at me. <laughs> She's really trying hard not to let the camera show the other room. She's really, really trying real hard not to let the camera wander around. It's a learning experience. It's a learning experience, y'all. So this is what I wanted to say, too. If you are taking the hijab so seriously, then why not look it up? Why not how to properly put it on? It's a learning experience, guys. I know when I'm into something serious, I'll Google, I'll research, I'll look it up. It's a learning experience, guys. But remember, you can use the Beezer Nation t-shirt as a hijab or a hoodie. Okay. Okay, so I'm proud of him for what? Make cheese salad. Yeah, probably gonna have that. Okay, what's the tea on that bowl? Oh, laundry. <laughs> laundry is a foreign word, my friends. Look at the look on her face. Laundry? Oh, laundry. The chat was saying they're proud of Pete's for doing the laundry. You know what? I bet that she doesn't wash towels or wash cloths or dish towels. None of that. Look, she's like, laundry? What the hell does that mean? The light strip? What's laundry, guys? I'm always dating garlic. Okay, is there any YouTube tea that's not my own that we can talk about right now? You got a kid on there. You figured it out. Wow. I hear you were right, Ashley. I hear the can opener. He figured it out. Wow. How these two have made it 30-something years blows my muffin top back blue. All right, what's the limo tea? He figured it out, y'all. <laughs> That's fake tea. Your tea is just flirting. I need tea. I need real tea. The mustard bottle's still on the desk, yeah. What are you guys talking about exactly? Yeah, They're very good. How many he does in the Amazon cart? No. What happened? What's the tea on Amber? I haven't been watching her videos. 
<clears throat> Are you on good terms with us, Jim? Yeah. Well, you're just spurting random nonsense, Karen. Understandable. She has a collapsed lung. Why? Make sure you put a lot of cheese. The reaction channels are getting their platinum pens as we speak. Who is Quinn Savo? Oh no. I, I'll be your your beezer for now. <laughs> Ready, set, peace. Welcome to the airport, beezer. Thanks, <laughs> I just see him. Yes, you put a lot of cheese on them. Thank you. Yeah, I had to cover my mat, my face with my, uh, like this, put my face up, my t-shirt over my face, like, and I couldn't smell the other. I was, like, holding it at, like, full length, full length of my arm. So this is great, yo. He had to put his t-shirt over his face to not smell the olive juice. Right, Duncan? Okay, second off, get ready. This is great, so we don't have to pause. She jump, dumps the olive juice in a cup. So that, the fruit flies are going to be drinking lovely tonight, yo. They're just... <laughs> Olive, so, God forbid that poor BBJ, I don't know if olives are toxic, but God forbid poor BBJ, since she's drinking out of a regular cup of water, God forbid she drinks this olive juice. Okay, now, here's the other thing. I was going to, yeah, Regina, what a great chef. Now, he doesn't end up putting, you know, Nick, granted, she just said, yes, olives are full of sodium and fat. Thank you, Fit and Curvy. So, then remember, Chewy's mama, welcome. She, she says, now, did you just catch, he put a lot of cheese. Well, here in a little bit, he didn't put enough cheese. Yeah, like the champagne glass. Never did, in my opinion, that we see. We never did see her fill a bowl of water. And this stream was 2 hours, 10 minutes, and 33 seconds. And in the stream, you never see her get a bowl of water. So, yeah. Please don't get any more pets. And I can't believe whoever that you are going to allegedly rent off of wants to leave their animals with you. Blows my mind. Because all of them have a disgusting smell. They're amazing. I'm fleeing now. Okay, I hate to subject you guys to this eating, but this is where sh it's the fan with Shannon. The olive. Do you want this glass of olive juice? No. <laughs> no, I can't. Olive juice, I cannot stand with no olive. I know. <clears throat> Thank you. Oh, Thank you. Thank you. Up, the closet door's back open. Yeah, Duncan, she's losing weight, though. Her, her people see it. They said, you know, we see you're losing weight. Okay, let's be real here. If this dude is watching these live streams, wouldn't you be like, wait a minute. This chick can't even get up to get her own food. She's dumping olive juice in a cup. Uh, we are on right now, Danny. One hour, 50 minutes, and 36 seconds. So, we've all, we're almost there, y'all. We're almost there. We're almost there, y'all. One hour, 50 minutes, and 36 seconds. And shit's about to hit the fan. Now, what makes this guy, a 23, excuse me, 29-year-old guy, and this chick ain't went downstairs once tonight? In two hours and ten minutes, not once tonight. Thank you. Excuse me. Ugh. Got some pads. Some things will never change. Stick around to find you and your audience, but maybe one of you away from the olive. I'd stick around to bug you and your audience, but I got to get away from the olive. So we went to the bathroom to get paper towels. Are we out of toilet paper? You're not much of a paper towel girl. I really rarely ever see you with paper towels. Welcome, Pam. 
thumbs up, y'all. Make sure you're subscribed. Welcome everybody here. Welcome everyone chilling in the background. We're almost there, y'all. I don't blame you. It does smell all over in here right now. <laughs> I'm okay, Queen. So, so Sala, here's how your girl eat olives. Yeah, that's what I said, Duncan. The closet door has made its way back open. We're, we're slowly dwindling. Y'all, the way she eats these olives, I'm like, what? I have to have two sodas. One sweet, one non-sweet. Wow. I have too strong of a personality, I think. I don't know, Minka. Legina, welcome ya, love. Welcome, Minka. I drink out of cans. Why is that weird? Yeah, Fuba. She's talking about me? Why? All right, y'all, get ready. This is when shit hits the fan. Get ready. But what? God, dog, y'all. And I apologize, y'all. If it wasn't for the Shannon part, I would literally skip the eating, but this is where shit hits the fan. Oh, she was a shitty friend? You're a shitty friend. I don't tip my head back at all, I don't think. <sighs> we can handle it, girl. Is anyone else watching this friggin' trial of this Daryl Brooks douchebag representing himself, making a fool of himself? Are you guys watching that trial? Uh oh. Why, why are people so obsessed with me? Hmm? It's on YouTube, I was watching it. This guy, he's like the parade guy. Oh, and it's Izzy. Did you lie? <laughs> yeah. You're going to have to explain yourself, ma'am. Right? Right. Dark desert. I mean... I'm called Creek. <laughs> the nachos are boring. Good. He didn't put enough cheese. Oh, she has left? Sorry, Ina Sizzy. Why do why do you guys play with me, huh? Mmm! <laughs> 
Please, this is no kids. I think I'm going to get off. I have a headache. What is Chantal's normal routine? What happens? Who gets a gold star for today? Who gets the gold star wand of the day? What happens? Can anybody tell me? You know, my hands are like, I don't know if it was that cupcake or what. After she eats, she wants to go. A uh, tea girl, she trips out and says, Shannon needs to go back. Exactly, Wendy. Exactly, Charlie's mom. Exactly, Gail. Exactly, Rachel. Everybody gets a star. Eats the, well, guys, I've got myself full. Good night, y'all. Comes on camera, eats night night. Well, I've got a headache, y'all. I think I'm gonna go. Oh, sorry, y'all. Oh, I strapped the baby wipe in the. Liam, welcome, love. Exactly, Liam. But she's losing weight, she says, Liam. Why, why bullshit, Chantal? Why, that's what I don't get. What's, a, what's this Ezra Miller thing? Goon, eat an olive and goon. <clears throat> Actually, there's no mess on my floor. I vacuumed. All the laundry's off the floor. For real. For real. That's pee. I have been like cleaning. Yeah, yeah. okay. Sure. You've had a tight <laughs> watch on that camera. No, like nobody ordered me to get off. Damn it, Joe, I can't get this open. The dark desert had accidentally said your name earlier. <sighs> oh, this is the part. Listen. Look, this is the part she's like, yeah, I used to be a bitch back in those streams. <laughs> okay. I've been on live long enough, I think. I have a headache. I'm going to get off. She wants to go see what Shannon's talking about. Shannon was live. That's what she wants. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, trash boat. There was stuff to the left of her. I highly doubt the floor is clean. And then she told the cats, remember when she was walking back in? From getting the paper towels. She's like, excuse me. How if the floor's clean, then how'd you have to say excuse me? So. Thank you, guys. Thank you for keeping me company and breathing. Headache deflection. Lots of water. Wow. Oh, hibiscus. I do have some hibiscus downstairs. Hi, Sharla. I have a headache. Well, this excuse in the book, yeah. Okay. Desert Highway, I thought of you because, um, there was an older live stream where I was complaining in it that I don't like to drink the chunky juices. And I was like, I was sometimes a real bitch on those. <laughs> Yay. Yay, that's funny. She just said, I was, yay. <laughs> great to be, great to be, uh, something to be proud of, bud. I'm sorry. Um, 
Did I ruin our friendship? Like, are people insane? Did I do something to Shannon? Oh, at the last I checked, you joined forces with somebody... You're in the wrong. I'll never be your friend either, don't worry about it. You're not a friend to begin with if you did that to me, so... Eat a big steamy pile of crap. Okay? Ooh, that was... <clears throat> Eat a big steamy. Ooh, that was that was a burn. Danny pickles. Hi, Billy bees. <laughs> Call me. I find people just insane, insane to have the nerve to try to turn something that they do on me, like. I heard you've never heard Dutch oven. I should. Okay. Ten go. Look, dude, she is etching. Uh, T-Dub, she's eating nachos that Pete's made her. Filthy welcome, love. She wants to go so bad to go. Good night, sassy cat. Yeah, it's almost over anyways. We got nine minutes. Nine minutes, y'all. Hold strong. She is etching so bad to get over to Shannon's. She's like, all right, all right, I gotta go. Uh -huh. <clears throat> yeah, call you. <laughs> Seriously. Like, what did I literally do to Shannon? I confided in her. That was what I did. I confided in her. When I was being beat around by Natter, <laughs> I told her. When I was being around by Natter. When I was, quote unquote, being around by Natter. First off, you make no sense. One minute to one minute, he didn't. Why are you? Come on now. While I was being around by Natter. Dude, you literally kept driving yourself back there. So he couldn't have been around. I, I, I'm sorry. I don't buy it. Call me an ass. I don't think he might have treated her the great. But I don't think if somebody's you around, you're going to drive your ass right back there. And when she was at that hotel, she was going to pay for him to Uber there. Just before you met dude, you were trying to uh, hit him up on all socials, making sock accounts. So, using the term beat around, I, I, no. No. Not believing it. Sorry. And then I told her about the fight we had. What did she do? Go in my live stream and tell everybody. And then, not only that, she makes an effing reaction channel. She tried to save your ass. No, T girl, he is violent. I I agree totally. I agree totally. But do I think that I I I don't think he was. I think her and Dee Dee's situation is two different things. I'm gonna be honest. That's the way I feel. If you were being around all the time, would you drive your ass back there? I'm I'm not. Yeah, I totally believe... Well, we've seen that he's violent. But... One minute he hit her, one minute he didn't. Catherine, welcome. Oh my god, Catherine, yes. Um, I, I don't believe it. I don't. I believe the same thing, Sarah. Further berate me. Exactly. Dee Dee can't leave. Chantal was driving over there. And again... Not to repeat myself, she said one time he didn't hit her. So, to use the frame beat her, I, I don't, I'm sorry. Fat effing cunt, but I am the bad friend. Do you see how that works? You're insane. You need to stay in the mental hospital a lot longer because you're insane. Wow. Like Shannon or don't. You need to stay in a mental hospital longer because you're insane.
That is a low blow. I'm sorry. Exactly, Tony. Exactly, Sarah. That's a low blow. To, to Chantal, you cry this mental health shit all the time. Uh, T-Dub, I haven't, or excuse me, Tony, I haven't watched the stream, but I don't know what I was said. I haven't watched it, but still, to say somebody's insane and they need to stay in a mental hospital longer, that's a low blow, man. Chanto, you cry all this shit all the time about your mental hospitals, your, your, my mentals aren't good, guys, you don't understand, and then you say that. Disgusting, I'm sorry. That was a low blow. That was a low blow. That was a low blow, I'm sorry. You could have said whatever, welcome Lark. You could have said whatever, but exactly, Nashies. I agree 100%. The Trinity's going to troll her right now. Look, <laughs> the Trinity is going to troll her right now. So she's inciting people to it's okay to go. Listen, Chantal, you're not in supposed to incite people to go to others' channels against terms of service to go troll people. The Trinity's going to troll her right now. <laughs> I love you guys. I love you guys. Alien tour is so cool. I finally got a live. I went up to shopping school. Where is it, baby? Anne Marie Grant is something I said in high school. I don't. Who's Anne Marie Grant? <laughs> Why are people. Oh my god. I need a moment of silence for my brain. Shannon, you need to fix your messy ass life, which is in shambles. So is yours. You're not worried about what happened in high school. Making up. Who the heck is Anne Marie Grant? Okay, first off, this new Shannon, your life is in shambles. Your life is not particularly on the best track. Uh, you're moving somewhere that sounds like allegedly a complete... Oh, she's fuming. Turn the page. Um. No, I watched it go down, Pam. I didn't see uh, Shannon's part. But I watched the chat go why this went down. Your life is... You just made your ex, Butler... Go make some nachos and make a can of olives. You need a regular drink and a sweet drink. Your cat is drinking out of a fucking cup. Excuse my language. You're in love with someone you've known a week. Shall I continue? You've alleged that you've made either a million, almost a million, allegedly, and still have a raggedy-ass car that you're not paying the paid off. You have nothing to show from the money that you've made, in my opinion. So shall we continue to talk about shambles? Exactly, Kelly. It seemed like when Shannon started struggling is around the time, don't quote me, I'm just going by what I see, that her father had passed. That's when Shannon seemed like she was struggling. Again, I don't know, but we could be here the rest of the morning talking about shambles. Yeah, and thank you. Exactly, Filthy. The word bees in, I'm so sick of it I could vomit. Bees in right now, to me, pretty much means being mean, eating some gummies or Chibis smoking, and laying there eating. That, to me, is what bees in means. You're a grown-ass woman, dude. I'm so sick of the word bees in, I could vomit. It's played out, it's childish, and like I said, 
it means to me eating. Nice. Oh, shit, go. Oh, damn, I thought you meant you filmed. Oh, damn, Gal. Oh, Gal, I'm so sorry to hear that. Oh, Gal, my heart is with you. Oh, man, Gal. Oh, my gosh, y'all. Gal, our hearts are with you, seriously. I am so sorry to hear that. Well, go know that I'm sure you gave him an ama or, um, an amazing life. He or she. I am so sorry to hear that. I am so sorry, Gal. Damn. I feel like an ass for playing the rest of this. Yes, Pam, thank you. Yes, you're in our prayers and thoughts. And, Gal, I'm sure you gave them a positive wonderful life I know nothing can you know just know that I'm sure you are a great pet parent I'm sorry you guys now I hate to play this I have no idea <laughs> do I care <laughs> do, I, do you think I give a crap about stuff that happened 40 years ago oh well, sorry how many years ago? 20. <laughs> Melissa, I don't know. They're just as foul as her. I'm sorry, Gal. Honestly, that breaks my heart. No. Like 23. 23 years. <laughs> no life bringing up shit that happened that long ago. No life. <laughs> None. See, and that's, that's what Chantal, you know, all friends get in tiffs. All friends get in fights. But you're throwing away a friendship of 23 years. That just shows how petty you are. Exactly, Duncan. That just shows how petty you are. You would rather throw 23 years down the drain. And sit here and drag them on YouTube. Then excusing yourself and saying, yo. Can we talk about this? Or you know what, guys? Shannon's already struggling. I'm going to leave it be right now. Let's not, you know, you know, whatever's going on. Even her chat, one person said, stop letting the chat gas you up about Shannon. Farida, welcome. At one point, I watched this when it was live. Somebody said, stop letting your chat gas you up. But she just jumped with it. Not even knowing what was said, just poof. exactly, Patty. She could have said, Well, guys, I don't know what's going on. I'm going to excuse myself. BML, welcome. I'm going to excuse myself. Go see what Shannon's saying. But no, you need to be in a mental hospital longer. You are a foul son of a gun. But I'm a hypocrite for calling this shit out. I'm sorry if I had a friend for 23, 26 years. And I knew they were struggling. I'd take the bigger way and say, you know what, guys, just leave her alone. But you heard her say, oh, you guys are going over there trolling? I love you guys. Chantal, it is against terms of service to insight. That's why I tell you guys, when channels pick at me, just leave them be. Don't go over there and mess with them. Just let it roll off your back. I appreciate y'all sticking up for me, but it is against terms of service to incite your chat, to go to others and tell them, basically, oh, it's okay, guys. Do my dirty work. You are inciting them to go. Farida says, I was in Shannon's chat when her beezers came in. Absolutely disgusting what Chantal did to her friend. Thank you. Instead of taking the higher route, again, I don't even know what was going on. I was getting in the shower, getting situated for our stream. Chantal could have took the higher road and said, guys, just leave her alone. Exactly, T-Girl. It's called berating, and it's totally against terms of service. Thank you, T-Dub. Yo, she is, her saying right now, stay mad. 
Chantal, ain't nobody mad but you. Nice, BML. Your little stupid ass saying, and yes, I'm going to say it because I'm pissed off now. And I'm pissed about Gail's pet passing. Your little dumb ass saying, I bet stay mad. Nobody's mad but you. Yeah, we might have to play Roar now she's on the way out. And I can't wait to tell you this idea I have. Your stay mad shit, that is dumb as shit. Nobody's mad but you. Am I heated right now that you let your cat drink out of a dumbass cup? Absolutely. Yeah, now she's white. My breakfast, I'll probably hit you up. You, you don't have to worry about checking it tonight, but why it's someone exactly felt the animal. The only person that's mad is your stinking ass. You never can take the higher ground. You could have said, guys, leave Shannon alone. I personally am here with you guys. I don't know what Shannon said, but get ready. And I do, Patty. I always tell you guys. And that's my thing. I'm not going to watch those channels no more that I've seemed to, you know, become their person they react to. Please don't even tell me about it. Because at the end of the day, I know who I am. You guys know who I am. And that's all that matters. I'm not going to give them the view. I'm not going to go, you know, oh, oh, a reactor can't take criticism. I never said. I've always said, you guys, hey, if there's something you guys want to call me out on, if there's something you guys think I can do better, please let me know. I'm open to make things better. Help myself, help our channel, help everything. Never been be of. I'm not perfect, never called out to be. And I had to say, you know, this person's criticizing me. Using, you know, my videos, not even showing themselves. Not even showing themselves. Show yourself. You want to criticize me? Show yourself. They do. Where do you fit rebate, Danny? Listen what she what? says. It gets worse. Get what? ready. Chantal, chew one all of it at a time, Bob. I don't know what you're talking about. Got to chew the other ones, bud. <laughs> anyway, I don't pay attention to trash people in my life anymore, so... Trash people. <laughs> trash people, y'all, in her life anymore. Lambo, you're back in your block? <laughs> So she knew, Lambo said, I'm back and I'm blocked. So she knew, instead of telling Lambo, Lambo, look, don't go over there. You're breaking terms of service for my channel. Dude, the Beezers are going to be her downfall. I'm going to go now. Yo, she wants to go over there so bad. Look at her. Um, <laughs> one cheeseburger. <laughs> Whatever. Ugh. <laughs> uh, exactly. Modest wife life. Mm hmm <laughs> Cheese and olive. And I have high blood pressure. Get off then, woman. You don't think I have a reason to be angry? <laughs> Can you watch Shannon and block us? She blocked us too quick. Yep. She's talking about me being high when she was just, she's a coke addict? Really? Oh, gee. I guess coke shaming me last year didn't work out to you for you, did you? How's that karma for you right now? Hmm? Yeah.
drug shame me, but she's a coke addict. Okay. Hi, Lo-Fi. Anyway, I don't have time for this drama. <laughs> no, I didn't quit. <laughs> You know what? So Shannon was probably, again, I wasn't there, but she was probably talking about the Chibis and the Gummies. Cart, cart, welcome, and 100. And second off, you just tripped out. And yes, yeah, she said, did you hear her say, no, I didn't quit. Chantal, you take some low blows. I saw that video, Kaya, had me heated, but it was obvious she was biased towards you. And was standing for the other channel she was talking about. Who's that? The one chick, uh, BML? Oh, you can tell that one chick, if that's who you're talking about, hates me. Is that what you're talking about, BML? Yeah, you can tell. I'm her main. She's like, Kaya cracks me up. She thinks she's such a gangster. Bitch, I am a gangster. <laughs> I'm sure you'll love that clip. I don't, I don't portray to be nothing. Yeah, exactly me. Oh, she hates my guts. Yeah. Yeah, filthy, that's what they just said. I, I don't portray a character, sorry. I don't have dessert often at family gatherings because, like, right, exactly, like filthy. And I'm usually hungry, like, after right away. Oh, How does she have 200 viewers? Because she's another one who has to leech off of my friggin' slim pickings. Just like her idol. How's your personal channel going for you, French fried F face? <laughs> French fried gunt? Oh, hmm. we're, we're name calling, eh? The views don't hit the same unless you're leeching right, off. Right, Pam? And sorry, Chanto. Sorry, Chanto. Uh, yeah, people do love a good train wreck. Sorry. Isn't that right? It is, Miss <clears throat> Connie. You know it's about winter time. That's when shit hits the fan. Yeah, ER art coming in soon. <laughs> uh... I T-Girl, I don't even want to give them any more traction. Anyways, these people are all blaming us, so we should not give them any attention. So it was right. Yeah, Everyone's yeah. right. Yeah, now you just figure that out. <laughs> My email? BigBeautifulMe, M-E-E, -E, at gmail.com. It's in the description, I think. Okay. I gotta go. You chewing these olives, bud? <laughs> Just clean. Excuse me. I guess I'll get up now. Thanks, Danny. We're still alive. Come on, tomorrow? I'm not sure. We'll see. Depends on Sala's schedule, guys. I'll see. Hi, guys. Thank you for hanging out. Big moss for me. <laughs> Bye. Oh, my gosh. Lord, in a hand basket, we made it. I, T girl, I, I don't want it. I don't. It's if you look up my name, it'll pop up. You can't miss it. I don't want it in the replay. It's, if you look up my name, it, boom, there she blows. Yeah, if, if you look up my name, it's right there. <coughs> you can't miss it. <laughs> you can't, it's, it's right there. All right, y'all. Well, yeah, I don't want it on the replay. I'm just going to do my thing. I'm not going to worry about somebody who hides and doesn't show. T-Girl, 
it just if you Google, if you look up my name, you you can't. And, and don't go over there, y'all. It ain't even. We're just gassing them up and giving them a view. I mean, go where you want. But you know what I mean. And and they're not gonna listen, y'all. There's tons of people. I read the comments. This this person, they they don't. They're an anti. They necessarily don't believe, you know, agree with what Chantal does, but they're they're an anti. Yeah, well, buddy, do you like somebody feeding their cat out of a cup? That that's cool. Letting their letting their cat drink out of a cup. That's that's cool. That's good times. Yeah, that that's that's great. I may be a hypocrite, but bet your ass my dogs have a bowl of water upstairs and a bowl of water. <laughs> We're here, Leanna. Yeah, my dog's got a bowl of water upstairs and downstairs. Um, I don't know, Bella, but that could make sense. Um, I'm not going to show the whole video. Maybe we'll go over it. Um, but I would like to talk about some points, Mrs. Haversom, and I do have that in my notes, um, and I do think the woman has, um, allegedly innocent, y'all, has a great video, and maybe we'll talk about some of the points in it. I know, T-Girl, but you know when people get, get fixated, you know, on certain people, they just stay fixated, and she could probably say the same for me, but... I don't, I don't call people buckwheat. I don't make my, you guys know, we'll be here till morning calling shit out. Chantal has quite, it's, it's not a trend. It's Chantal is, is controversial because the things she says. So you guys know. All right, y'all, I'm going to eat some breakfast and call it a day, a morning, um, <laughs> right, Janet, and welcome. So, thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you guys for the replay. Thank y'all chilling in the background. Make sure you're subscribed, thumbs up, leave a comment, even if it's emoji, and it truly helps us out. And I should see you guys tomorrow. I think I'm going to steam clean because it rained and it's kind of getting muddy, but we'll see. I should see you guys tomorrow. I'm not sure, but, um... It's very good, Mrs. Haversum. Um, it's very good. And she she's a wonderful woman. She has a lot of life experiences. Y'all, the channel is called... Um, what was it again? I apologize, y'all. I'm thinking about my breakfast here. Happy birthday again to Lunaris. Uh, allegedly innocent. And I love you too, gal. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Rest in peace to Gail's fur baby. Um, all right. Well, always keep an eye on the community tab. I kind of give you guys a heads up. Good night, Sarah. Great to see you. Yes, allegedly innocent. Um, I'm probably going to wind down breakfast. Our Nancy P. Uncut Gems mentioned that Knock Knock It's Karma has a really good video out on Chantal Nashies. I'm going to email you right quick while I'm eating out my breakfast and thinking about it. And I love you guys. I... Probably we'll see you tomorrow, but if not, I would definitely upload these two hauls I need to. And maybe I'll do like a little Trader Joe's Whole Foods. I didn't get a ton of stuff, but I think it's cool to see different stuff. So, I love you guys. Have a great day, great night, and I'll see you guys later. Kaya is out. Night, guys.